Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, tonight, uh, the role of Powered, or the role of Sarcerel, <laughs> is going to be uh, brought up on a cell, cell phone by D, D Beyond, because someone forgot their character sheet. Um, Conveniently, I have it. If you're new to the show and looking to catch up, all of our previous episodes are on um, our Twitch uh, channel, as well as YouTube. If you're looking to connect with the show on social media, um, check out um, the banner below our episodes and you'll find all of our social media links. Um, also, if you just follow uh, MBM RPG on Twitter, um, the pinned tweet has all of our contact information. Additionally, we'd like to thank the following people um, and companies for their support in making our show better. Uh, thanks to Axe and Shield for your amazing combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for your amazing dungeon terrain. I've used amazing twice now. Uh, thanks to Sirenscape for your amazing soundscapes. That's three times the And thanks to Rudy and Satine for your amazing inspiration. Four. That's too much. <laughs> I'm so you that source. was amazing. Yeah, that was <laughs> thanks. So with that, we're going to go ahead and refresh with the players and their characters. Mike. Who are you playing tonight? I am playing Cirque, the half orc barbarian, uh, champion of Ruined Eyes. Champion of Ruined Eyes. Uh, Eric? Uh, I'm playing Elray Foxfire, the uh, elven rogue. Aaron? I'm playing uh, Visago Free, tiefling bard, the ever trustworthy. Doug? I'm playing Xenos High Hill, the captain and wizard. And he's uh, what race? Oh, he's a halfling, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Doug's been away for a while. It's a little sure. rusty. And? Shoot. Play this game My name us. is Howard. I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who are you playing? I now? will be playing uh, a half elven cleric, Sarsarel, the chosen champion of Umberly. And the, the, the submerged? Sarsarel, the submerged, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was waiting for you to pull up the wrong character. You're like, and I'll be playing. I'll be and then playing Joffrey. Wait, that's the, not right. <laughs> the dark elf rogue. Wait, no, wrong. Okay. I'm sorry. So you we are it, yep. we are not in a debauched tavern. So I need to uh, change up. We need to change Mike, everything that's wrong yet. with the campaign. <laughs> so we should only be in taverns. He's just right. going to the yeah, LA absolutely. office. Okay. Okay. So we'll recap where we were last week. Um, we began exploring the island of Lorath, um, home to um, mysterious creatures. Um, the party fought off a, a robot chicken. Um, this one does. And they encountered um, some previous winners of the Rattlebolt Cup, uh, a party called the... Some of them. <laughs> one party squad. is a strong... Well, why would they stay on this one. island? <laughs> Yeah, we'll get to that, Doug. I'm sure you've Didn't watched you watch our previous time? episodes. No, so I'm, I can, missed it. You can be uh, caught uh, up. Yeah, uh, sorry. So, uh, the party came across a temple of the uh, Elder Elemental Eye. Inside the temple were um, elemental statues that um, animated when Shipwreck stole stuff from the, uh, the temple. Um, inside the temple was already a dead body. Um, of a fighter named uh, Richards. Um, and the reason that you know that he's a fighter named Richards is that he was uh, Foxfire's um, former adventuring companion. And That's sad. He got strangled. Yeah. By the air. By the air. That's very sad. So. Um, Not by the rogue. You know what you should have done? <laughs> so the he island says. <laughs> Foxfire um, has <clears throat> kind of been on his own for a little bit. Things started going poorly for his party. Um, you guys next found a, a river where uh, frogs had set a trap to um, eat easy prey as they tried to cross the river. And another one of his party members uh, fell prey to the, fro the frogs, the giant frogs. Um, his name is Laughlin, and he was a gnome sorcerer. And um, Eric told the party that there was one further um, character missing, uh, or adventuring member missing, uh, a, a Goliath by the name of Wise, who is yet to be found. We still have a chance to get 50% survival rate. Yeah. Yeah? But if I haven't found him in a month, yeah. chances oh, of me finding solid. him. You used this twice. Oh. Yes. 
Um, well, I wouldn't use. I wouldn't touch this with a ten foot broken control line. No, you line. used it you so used many it to times. Make a frog <laughs> explode. We uh -huh. used it. We you created a room full of butterflies. butterflies. There is that. Yeah, yeah. Did happen. <laughs> you made one frog slow down, and then you made one frog hit, get hit with. Was it ten d six lightning yeah, damage? Yeah, I think it was like. Well, yeah. it was probably eight d six. Oh, it was eight d six. Yeah. 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 Who is making decisions for my character? <laughs> to be fair, to, to be fair to me, I had you cast Firebolt, That's and true. he had you had you use the controller. I wouldn't uh, use this. Do you remember the experience with the the mimic thing that we almost put on the ship to eat everybody? I can't trust this. I can't trust Rundai's. Why are we still on this island? Listen, mistakes <laughs> may have been made. The mimic was not on Rundai's island. No, that was on the way too. I mean, it just yeah. no. It's Do you want treasure? I mean, you're a pirate. I want a ship. Captain ish. Yes, why are we in the middle of an island when my ship is over there? Because your ship doesn't you're have any treasure for, on it. Yeah, you're here for treasure. The treasure's on the island. Do you know how this works? The treasure was in the treasure vault below Rune Dies and. Oh, yeah, we got that treasure. Now we're getting you got all that treasure? treasure? We're, we're not going to beat that <laughs> boss monster. Hey, Method Man. There's a <laughs> boss monster out here that's a big, giant, mechanical robot, They're Tyrannosaurus Rex or something. Where to and find we can do that. That's the one, that's the one that. Uh, his so really party died to Umberly did it bless his yeah, is. <laughs> yes. journey. She's blessing my journey. We are with me. so you're gonna make yeah. it. Yes. We're gonna be fine. Listen, I'm I've survived fairly confident with robotic dinosaurs. Those two. Yes. I think yeah. we'll be all right. Okay. So <sighs> before we get too much further, I wanna I wanna just let you guys know because there is a map and you guys have been exploring the map. I wanna let you guys know where you've been. Can I mark this map? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you guys are currently where the D4, where Mike has the D4. Um, that is okay. the spot of the river. Okay. Um, Eric has been in from there diagonally to the uh, north east into the forest. And what he'll tell you is, one, most of this island is covered by jungle, but um, the the forested area that you can easily see on the map is a like evergreen forest, which is weird. Um, so weird. And you guys have That's seen mm -hmm. robotic creatures roaming around this island. Um, so far, you've only encountered if one. Everything else on this island one. is so normal. Well, this is where I'm getting to. Um, so <coughs> Eric can tell, or uh, Foxfire can tell you that. I did a capture. Okay. <laughs> oh, for TNT Beyond. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so Foxfire can tell you that there are no robots in the um, the Evergrowth or the what are they called before? Evergreen. Evergreen. Uh, the Evergreen Forest. Is it a treasure? Well, he did. Have, did you? That's tell us not how a yes. Got here? I'm I noticing the no yes. <laughs> um, Listen. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. okay, he I teleported, teleported to the island. So he he has no way off. Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you just teleport back? Oh, probably because your marker got lost. He got teleported by a war War wizard of Kormir, which is a high high level so wizard. Created a portal, uh, they went through, uh -huh. and then closed, and then they and they, we stuck. They got right. stuck. Yeah. Okay. So he's coming with us. Francois was the first one. So I'm I mean, sure we can negotiate a, a fair uh, rate for your passage. In a way, we did pick on my up ship. a treasure. Um, <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's not your ship. It's a, it's a rogue. I'm the captain We got a rogue. Yeah, it's I'm true. The captain of the ship. Well, that's... That, that makes me captain. Technically is correct ship. is the best kind of correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm captain until we get so, back home and someone says otherwise. you are arguing about this, why don't you go ahead and put your minis on the map? Uh, we're, we're so we can roll initiative and yeah, fight each other. Exactly. <laughs> Not fight each other, no. I, I don't know about that. I mean, there, well, I there mean, might you can be fight each other too if you want. What's, what's with Not, what's no with way that he's got thing. that. I don't makes know. That's what I was trying to figure out. What? Into that frog yeah. thing. What's the orb? The orb is the camera that's following Sarsaril around. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my camera. You have a camera. I'm very popular <laughs> on D and D social media. Hash, hashtag blessed. Hashtag behold. Right. Hashtag explore Lurath. <laughs> Hashtag chosen. <laughs> oh, that one's very sticky. Hashtag, Hashtag pound sign. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag pound sign. 
<laughs> you actually spell out hashtag and then the pound sign. Now, just if you could real quick, could you roll me a D8 for how many selfies you've taken yeah. so far? Hold on. I'm, I think an eight? three D8 is probably. I, yeah, I, we're we're working on like no, no, tens no, no. here. No, no, no. Well, here, seven. roll this one. Roll that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's oh, much better. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is D100 here. Let's see. Stop. What are we at? 43. 43, hey, 43 selfies. Hey, would you look at that? So guys, actually, you guys are was that really the same? Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it yeah. was. Oh, my That's God. <laughs> it's meant to be. Team, wow. uh, pass this down to Doug. And Doug, uh, can you... Uh, oh, these are the chickens. Right? Yeah, those are the chickens. So the chickens. There, chickens. Oh, there, okay. are, there is a grouping of um, chickens that have come out of chickens. the Coaster. jungle to figure out what the noise is. And at this point, we'll oh. go ahead and roll for initiative. Oh, I'm the halfway. Well, that is really not good. Eric? <coughs> Eight. Eight? That's not terrible. That's pretty bad when Just, I roll a four. Um, that would be a... <laughs> how do you play this game again? <laughs> um, Dex. That's a 13. <laughs> you, um, if you have successes and you have... Um, then you have circs. Yeah. And you... <laughs> what do you what's the number? A 13. 13, okay. Uh, all right, Aaron? 11. 11. Mike? I see five plus eight. Sir. Five plus eight? Five plus three is eight. I know. Uh, Howard? Seven. Seven. Six, seven. Oh, you wow. guys are doing great. Well, seven plus zero is seven. 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 I just, all right. All right. You guys, are, you guys are doing great. I want to just say that you guys are doing well, great. Well, we're, it doesn't matter, really. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. It's either we go <coughs> or they go. Or the robot chickens. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I haven't rolled That's for the robot works. chickens yet. So we'll see. Who, between Eric and, Eric. or between, oh, okay. <laughs> who person. has more decks? Eric? Oh, I, I was going to say, who do you guys want to go first? Because you guys can pick oh, when you true. tie. But yeah. it's actually probably better that Foxfire goes first. because If he's a rogue. Tech. Yeah. yeah. Um, but unless I rolled I get, a 19. That's so well, unless I, I get next to something. Suck it, fools. <laughs> Which is... Um, okay, I'm so... Prompted. The the Watchers, which Doug, mm -hmm. um, and for the viewers at home, um, they, are, they resemble a... A metallic uh, cross between a lizard and a chicken. They've got very long necks with a, a singular lens on the end. Okay. Uh, they've got two legs, okay. and then they've got a long tail to kind of balance themselves out. Have we encountered them before? You guys yeah, we have did. encountered and them before. He has before. a chicken, a robot chicken club. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's although, a tail. Yeah. Take the tail off of a chicken. So how do they respond to fire? Uh, they take damage from fire. Okay. Yeah. They respond really well to electricity, too. Because you got this thing that can maybe cast a lightning bolt. Maybe. Ooh, yeah, all you have to do is try. A one in 100 a, chance of casting a lightning bolt. Yeah. Or yeah. you can just paralyze something if you get a 97 to 100. And okay. if you don't target something, you target yourself. So Xenos has always preferred fire. <coughs> so um, one of them will step forward. It's going to move up to adjacent to Eric's okay. character, the one with the stein duck. That one okay. there will just go ahead and move straight so. up. Well, it was facing the other direction. Like I wanted to go explore that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, but yeah. you know, facing and minis. I saw that. D &D That's, okay. doesn't, doesn't, That's what I doesn't thought. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. So it, um, you see its central eye or its its singular eye glow red, and then everything kind of goes fuzzy as a bright noise or a loud noise and a bright flash happens. And everybody within a 15-foot cone of it, which I think is at everybody. least Eric. Uh, I no, think, the two in the back. Yeah, I think um, oh. Cirque and um, and Vizago are out of it. But true. Um, Foxfire, Sarsarel, and uh, Xenos need to make a constitution saving throw. Of course. Oh. Is this a fear effect by chance? <clears throat> uh, no. Is it an enchantment? Uh, no. Okay. 15. 15, okay. Uh, what'd you get? Better than 15. Better than 15. And Natural one. Natural one, okay. So, um, Foxfire is taken by surprise uh, by this attack, and you um, are blinded and deafened for cool. um, a d4. But you get plus one selfie. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Plus one selfie. There you go. Okay, so for two rounds, you're blind and deaf. Okay. So what that means for your character is you can still attack, you have disadvantage on your attack rolls, um, you cannot really communicate with your party members because you're blind and deaf. Um, 
and then the other creatures are going to come up and attack you. Is what's going to happen? Awesome. There. Yeah. Um, so they're all coming up. Yeah. They're to gonna the same up. person. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Well, the um, only reason I can think of is that only three of them can get adjacent. Uh, okay, then the other one will move up and attack Sarshal. Okay. So Sorry, attack, Sarshal. Attack, uh, attacks against a blinded <laughs> target have advantage. So Amazingly um, enough. Weird. So the first attack is going to hit. I don't need to ask. Uh, <laughs> second attack is a natural 20. Okay. So yep. two That's hits. Bad. And then against Howard, hurt. only one attack roll. Well, you got a third that is... The 15's not going to hit? No, it is not. All right, so you get missed, but um, your good new friend... My <laughs> good new friend. Foxfire is going to take uh, ooh, 12 damage on the non-crit. Right. I feel like I like Jeez. the wizard more than the rogue so far, just because I don't know the rogue at all yet. And that is 14 damage on the on the crit. So, all right, cool. Let's... How you feeling? Uh, really, really poorly. <laughs> It's twenty. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Um, no, he can't say. All he's doing there. is feeling. All I can, because yeah. he's not seeing or hearing anything. Uh, Doug, what is Enos? Uh, you're blind and dead, right? 15, mm -hmm. But you're not 20, mute. No, so you 25. can still talk. All right, so we're gonna, Ow. wait. Yeah. Are we? Is the, are these ruins still around? Yeah. Okay. So, Xenos is gonna move back over to here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm behind everybody. Okay. And then um, I'm going to cast Grease right here. So it's going to be this 10-foot cube. Okay. In front of uh, me. In front gonna, of you. Are you going to? Yeah, okay. So it's it's going to hit these three guys. You're my friend. Okay. <laughs> so they each need to make a DC 13 uh, save. Okay. Just a friendly uh, Well, luckily for them, it's reflex, they've got that tail that balances them out. So they should it's a be deck save. fine with this. Yeah, deck no, save. No, no, no. 13? 13. 13. So that'll be a 12, so that's going to fail. And that okay. 5 is also going to fail. That's 2. Okay. And the other one succeeds. Okay, so this one falls down and this one falls down. Right. But the other one's a ninja. And the other one's a ninja. <laughs> it uses well, its tail. A robot chicken ninja. Just and so, it actually um, goes. <laughs> 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 and then anyone who um, ends, your, ends their turn in that area needs to also make the same save, for, and this lasts for the next minute. Sure. And is that it for Xenos? Anything with your bonus action that you'd like to do? I you don't. Want to command the crew? I don't get a bonus action. You should oh, command us, though. Oh, I'm yeah. Uh, kill the, kill the, the things, guys. Oh. I feel mildly motivated. Yeah. yeah. As you should. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll go, go ahead and take a point of inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I nice. feel mildly wow. motivated. Wow, okay. Yeah. I'll do that more often. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got uh, it. All right. Well. So, Pazago, uh, what are you doing? Feeling inspired. You um, have advantage to attack the ones on the that is uh, true. that are prone. Oh, here you can use this thing if you want. <laughs> no, oh. he's got a magic item. That he can, he can use. I have my own magic item. He can, he can use that. On you you could, you could take. I don't, I don't want to hog. Give it to Sirk. Sirk <laughs> 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 right. can use it as an Cirque improvised weapon. Give <laughs> 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 it to the glass. Ooh, do what? <laughs> you can if you want. It's going to be a D6 or something. Oh. Like maybe a D8. Uh, hey, look. And I open each book. It comes right up to the page that I needed to be. Hmm. What, what harm could come from using this malfunctioning control rod? One harm in Exactly, that's why I'm passing oh, it off shit. before harm happens. He should have had advantage to attack you. You know what? Well, it's that's, worth being that's in That's for the I blessing of Umberlean. Yeah, right it is there. the blessing of When I end the turn, though, right? <laughs> yeah. That's okay, it. so I'm going to sit right there where I'm uh, surrounded by those three guys. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, wait, it's entering. I'm sorry. It is entering. Entering, right? Entering. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's entering. Okay. Uh, when you, uh, a creature that enters the area or ah. ends its turn there must succeed on the deck okay. saving throw. Do you have to you can do make this. a deck saving throw? Yeah, he entered the area. Uh, does a 15 make it? Yes, yeah, it, it does. does. Cool. We're good. Um, and then while you have I'm to there. You end your turn, too. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I have to do something first. He can move. Which is, I know what you're doing. Uh, Vizago's going to like shuffle his feet a little bit. Yeah, all the way across the yeah. area that you're walking. And then uh, <laughs> touch one of the robot chickens and activate his armor, and an uh, electro pulse goes off against anything adjacent to me. Um, it's oh. grease. You're not generating any static electricity there. No, that's how it works. Oh, he did it across the jungle floor. Yeah, no, that's how it works. <laughs> this is magic, Doug. This is magic. Magical grease. He has a magic item, Doug. <laughs> else, now he's Maybe insulated, so. Yeah, magic. yeah, exactly. So yeah, they, protecting they, they, from the they shot. They get to yeah. make a dexterity uh, saving. Uh, dexterity. Charity saving throw, yep. which, which is they're they're great at. So yep. we've established that already. 
What's the DC? <laughs> One 15. of them was decent at it. Okay. Do they get disadvantage while they're out prone? I don't know. No, I don't no, think they get disadvantage. Um, are you next to three? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so one. Uh, one saves. Okay. The one that, uh, that saved before saves again. So he only takes half of the seven electric. Everyone else takes the seven electric. Okay. And that's going to persist for the next they five seven rounds. Seven electric. <laughs> five rounds? So every, for five rounds, they're going to get shocked. Uh -huh. As long as they're adjacent as long to as they're next to me. And if they move away, then he gets an attack of opportunity. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm digging this. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So even, so even don't fall down. Saved? Yeah. So is it, do, do, do if they, they save, they take half. Do they, oh, but do they have to save every round? Yeah. It's a new as attack. As oh, as yeah. oh, oh, this is going to be great. <coughs> yeah, that's why so, I walked in the middle. Uh, um, I'm going to make my other dexterity yeah, 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 save. Yeah, that's right what now. I was going to call for. Because he's ending his round. Oh, oh, man. You know well, what? You're gonna I go felt ahead. so inspired <laughs> by his speech that I feel like I I'm going to be fine. <laughs> yep, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, now I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used one you're... of my four rerolls I have so far. So nice. Waste Good. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm very lucky. Foxfire, you're blinded and deafened, but uh -huh. you have been attacked. How, mm -hmm. how would he even know it's his turn, though? <laughs> like he can't hear you say that. He's just moving. He doesn't <laughs> actually know if it's his turn. He can actually go at any point if we don't know. Um, well, I, you know, oh, crap, I can't so, leave. So, attack of opportunity if I try to leave and I'm just blinded. At this, yeah. I will give you some suggestions. How about that? You can disengage as an action, which means that all of your movement this turn does not provoke attack of opportunity. Oh. You can take the dodge action, which means that any attacks made against you have disadvantage. Um, or you could try to tumble, but you that was that's going to be difficult. <laughs> well, I would say yeah. swing blindly because you know you're surrounded. And also, though, yeah. but if there's any... But he's um, not adjacent to you, so it won't be fun. That's well, true. if there's any kind of... Um, that's why you should do it there, Jason. You. you should disengage. Yeah. Go he's towards Zenos' voice. Yeah. He can't, I can't hear, hear my voice. <laughs> he can't hear. Oh. That's right. <laughs> But, but I would disengage and move away from the pointy things that were attacking that's me. That's fine. But, uh, but if, also, if there's any kind one, of ground two, cover, three, I can just stand still and disappear. Four. You, can, <laughs> you got one of four ways you could go. You you can do that as your bonus action, right? Yeah, I you can. You want to try swinging wildly before? Oh, you yeah, do you it? can. Because well, if no, you. To, to oh, disengage is a bonus because I it's a cunning action. Rogue. I played Rogue once, so yeah. that's why I'm saying that. And there are uh, three possible action. targets yeah, that would be a sneak attack for you right now. Rogues have some stuff. Yeah. All right, so roll with disadvantage and try to attack the one that was directly you, in front of me before it so went away. Are there two adjacent to him? Yeah, there are three. 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 three still. So roll a, roll a d6. And roll a d6. Figure out which three one. Three and one four. Two, three. Or, uh, no, five and six is the one that's on the ground. Okay. That's a one. Okay, so, so you're rolling with disadvantage. One okay. clearly directly in front of you. <laughs> oh, because that would have been no disadvantage. Yeah, because it would have canceled right out. And, oh, hey, hey wow. roll yeah. two 16s. So. Look at that. Uh, you hit. Uh, yeah, okay. Roll your damage. <laughs> Stab it once I mean, again. if I was the robot chicken, I'd be surprised, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it really... And that's seven it. damage. Everybody else sees a question mark. <laughs> now, oh, oh but win? then... Yeah. Yeah. Sneak attack. There you go. Wait, I don't think because you can sneak attack. He's not really? He's blinded. He's not I'm blinded. Thinking. Yeah. But uh, rogues are if yeah, it's oh, engaged. it's not flanking. It's, it's adjacent. Not, it's, it's as adjacent. long as they're adjacent to another but melee. Once per turn, answer. you can deal extra damage to one creature hit he, with an attack if you have an advantage on the attack roll. If he's blinded, though? he doesn't have advantage. But on I don't. Oh, no, he doesn't have advantage I'm because he's blinded. So mm -hmm. it just. Yeah. So he shouldn't have had advantage. It should have just been even. Now. Don't need. Yeah. Don't need advantage if it's within five feet of All the right, target. Blah blah blah. Okay. So you do your seven damage. There seven damage. And then you disengage. And I disengage. Yeah. He just walks backwards. And I'm just gonna go. He just, just kind of walks back. backwards into the bushes. Yeah. All right. Uh, I can, <clears throat> so I can, I can make well, my full move yeah. and disengage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to step back here, and oh, I really? disappear in plain sight. You, you, you keep walking until you find bushes. <laughs> yeah. You just hide to sit up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30. 30. What's your speed? 35. <laughs> All right. Boom. So Zerg's going to walk up there. In a bush. And I disappear. The one that's standing up. Um. does. Huh? You're going to push him right No, I'm going to grab him. Oh, OK. Uh, does a 21 hit him? Uh, yeah, 21 <laughs> hits him just fine. All right. So. That's only, or I'm not raging yet, so it's only six damage to the, the one that's standing. That's taken yeah. three. Yeah. And then he needs to make a strength check. Uh, I believe it's strength or dexterity. 
but he's going to go ahead and make strength. Okay. Uh, 20? Uh, 21. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so he's grabbed. <laughs> okay. So he can't walk away from uh, from Aaron. That so really sucks. Oh. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yep. You're... His speed is zero. <laughs> that sucks for him. Yep. That doesn't okay. seem very fast. Nope. No, it's, it's not slow. incredibly fast. It's, okay. So that is uh, that is it for shipwreck. Sorry, Sorrel. Sorry, Sorrel. Uh, Sorry, Sorrel. I mean, I was gonna call the thunder in, but I guess. <laughs> Yeah, would that's be a bad choice, choice right now. Choice. Yeah. Well, he's already calling the lightning. I'm calling right the lightning. Now. So excited Thunder about Thunder and the lightning. All right, so I'm going to just attack and the one And we're not going to continue me. that because copyright. <laughs> no, it's fine. <clears throat> See, yeah, fine. he needs to push them all, and then you uh, need to run up and go, Yeah, I'm going to hit him. That is a 21 to hit. 21 hits. And Which one are you attacking? The one that attacked me. Okay. It's currently it's prone. Prone, so you got advantage on the attack roll. I didn't need it. So. Do you want a crippish or do you want Oh, a... fine. Yeah, crippish. Just a crippish. I don't catch one. Okay. How amazing would it have been if that was a 20, though? <laughs> that would have been so <laughs> <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> uh, Think oh, about is it. it when it's thrown, a trident is 1d8? It's 1d6 normally. No, it's 1d6, and then when you use it in two hands, it's 1d8. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if you... I was trying to figure out why it said 1d8 underneath. Thank you for explaining. Yeah. Rules check. Yeah. Uh, so that's only six damage. Six damage, okay. All right. So that's their turn. So the one that you just attacked stands up. Yeah. And he Get aims. Up. Stand up. Try to attack me. No. He aims stand down. Stand up for you, right? He aims which way? Uh, towards, towards you, Doug the player, um, and does his I, it's, lens flare. It's gonna is hit. he attacking? Me? Is this an attack and against sir. me? Yeah. It's an area effect. So no. So no. So you have to make a Constitution saving throw, and you have to make a Constitution. Does it impact the his ally that's on the ground in front of him? Fortunately, no. Fourteen. You sir. Oh, all right. All right. High con for the win. Stand up. Is a con saving throw? It's a con saving Six. throw. Six. Six. You are blinded and deafened oh. for. Wait, what? That can't be right. <laughs> Three rounds. <laughs> I thought you said you were blessed. <laughs> yeah, where's Cicero right now? Man? Um, He's blessed with the sight of dark. Is it your turn that they take the damage? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, is it the end of that one's turn? Well, he did stand up. And, and he, he did an action. So now so he So stand up. Wait, stand until up the end is of the just half, half your move. move. Half your okay. move. Okay. So he can move around Aaron without taking an opportunity attack. Yep. But he would. Uh, yeah, he's going to do that because he's not going to take an attack of opportunity from. Sarsaro. Sarsaro. So, so he's so he going to step into some grease. Yeah, there you go. Right? So he steps oh, out of the grease. I don't threaten when grease. I'm blind, though. We're doing yeah, because he was in the grease. Oh, it's uh, only 10 Blinding foot. creatures step uh, foot. automatically yeah, oh, fail. Ability radius. checks that require sight. Attack rolls against that target have advantage, and uh, attack rolls that that creature makes have disadvantage. So okay. you would have an, an attack of opportunity. All right. You just have to roll with disadvantage. Okay. A 10 foot square. Uh, he just moved out of your point within range. But he disengaged to do it? No, or, he moved. So I get to attack him? Yay! Look at me helping out. Oh, that's a good roll. Come on, another one. Good roll hey, two. I hit him. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes uh, more damage that time. Sorry, I. Specifically. He takes 10 damage. He wow. He <laughs> so you stab dead. him right How's through the that? neck. And he goes, Rest thunderous rebuke. There you go. Falls have a trophy. To pieces. Um, Super dead. And then Mike, I say, the what's one the that matter? you have grappled yes. is going to make you make that save again. Oh, okay. What'd you 22? Get? Okay. 21. So that's his action. Um, <laughs> it's like, now, since you have it grappled, does it also, is it held up or does that make it safe? It's, a, down. it's an action to try to no, get it's, away. It's greased. So it, does it have to fall is what he's getting at. Uh, you, so you could hold it and wrestle prone. it down. So. Yeah, make it be prone. That's fine. Yeah. Um, the other one is going to move around you to um, flanking with the one that you have grappled. Yeah. Wait. So this one? No. no. The, uh, other one on the side. This one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And it's going to attack And this attack one you. made it safe or didn't make it safe? Didn't make it safe. It didn't make it safe. It's fine. It's prone. Uh, so that's going to hit. I rolled a 3 and a 19. So that's, <laughs> yeah. that's good. Um, so you take... Uh, seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. And the one on the ground mm -hmm. is also going to get up, stand up. Get up, stand up. <laughs> Fight for your right. Yep, fair enough. 
Um, and it is not flanking, but it also has advantage because um, it turns the next watchers right? can see you. Mm -hmm. um, so that is probably not going to help. It is only 11 for series C. So that's not going to hit. Um, and then it's going to make it saving throw. And it does. So it's standing up. Yeah. And now it is Xenos' turn. Are you going to fireball? I'm going to fireball. Mm -hmm. It's not the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to fireball the one that's that was closer to me. That's a good choice. I thought so. So I that like would be a 22. Nope. 22 is going to hit. I hope so. so now that I'm blind and six there's no reason not to thunder, uh, thunder wave. <laughs> Can't hear it anyways. If you thunder wave, I will thunder wave right back. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a flame of bloodshed. All of your spell slots. Yeah. <laughs> We're just thunder waving each other the entire day. I'm immune like, to thunder damage. So yeah. You're playing ping pong with yeah. uh, one of these chickens. Doug, what, what, what? There was six fire damage. Six fire damage. And I, my question was, is it flame mobile? Uh, it appears to take the damage. The robot? It doesn't okay, light it's not fire. It doesn't light it's not burning. No. Uh, That's sad. Bizarro? Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Do your damage? It's too close. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Deeper into the woods. What's Good the matter? Idea. Deeper. Chicken? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> the worst. <clears throat> Just the absolute oh, worst. Your brave, your brave captain is moving over here to better protect you. He's advancing in another direction. Yeah. That's right. All right. What? Uh, sorry, I can't <laughs> this, he can't see you This here. watcher can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. He will try that. DC 15. Uh, he got a six. <laughs> okay, so he gets to take Close. three psychic damage. Okay. And has disadvantage on his next attack. All right. And then. Well, that's good because he's got advantage. And on then all the other two have to make reflex saves. <laughs> Get to make dexterity friendly. saves. Oh, yeah, dexterity. For the reflex. next, these two over here. Yeah. And I think if you're grappled, do you have disadvantage on that? I don't think so. You just, your speed is just okay. zero. So I rolled uh, a 16 and an 18. Uh, the wow, yeah. So they both make it. So they take half of the ten. So they take five points of electric damage. Okay, so you kill one. Which one? Which one? The dead um, one. <laughs> the one that's <laughs> circuit grappling. Hold on. Odds, it's the one circuit grappling. Yep, it is. Oh, good. Now I have a bigger weapon. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I don't think that's gonna work. No, no I'm gonna make, make it. You got some of that, that blue sticky stuff on the bottom of your yeah. mini. You could probably use. You could it. probably yeah, use that. No, no, no. Um, He's, okay, no, it's, so yeah, that's Bizarro's like turn. A, Are you can do anything else? There we go. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like you can do this. Uh, oh! oh. Right. Well, yeah, no, he's just he's doing like a Hulk smash attack. Eric, what's uh, Foxfire doing? Uh, standing in the woods, hiding. Okay. Because I got one more round of being blind okay. and deaf, so I'm not All doing right. anything. There you go. All right. There. Um, what's the what's the damage on a full size chicken? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will give you a D12 on that chicken. Yes. All right. Nice. It's I'm medium size, so you're swinging around. I'm going to be reckless. Something as big as you. Oh, sure you are. <laughs> this is pretty <laughs> reckless. I would yeah. say it's reckless. So, raging and reckless, so that's... Sadly, yeah, I so don't see or hear any of this. <laughs> so that's a 20. 20 hits. 20 hits? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What? No. What? Aw, <laughs> oh, weak sauce. Uh, it's only 11 damage. Uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> So the one that's no, the one that's behind me. Oh, oh, my mistake. Yeah. So I just pick it up. That, that one can just stay there. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That seems fine. Sorry, Sheryl. You've got what? one next to you. <laughs> I guess I attack I with disadvantage. Yeah. Woo. Oh, there's a chance. So you're saying there's oh, a chance? Oh, I got it. Uh, does a twelve hit? Uh, twelve does hit. Yes. <laughs> For max damage, minimum damage. How much? Five. You kill it. Yes! <laughs> I am the champion of Umberly. You, congratulations, you killed a mechanical Yay. chicken. Yay! <laughs> now that my vision quest has been completed. So, <laughs> so <laughs> can we go short, ahead and make a reflex? A short 12 seconds later, <laughs> your, your vision comes back. It's blurry, but you start seeing, uh, uh, you know, Textures and Cirque's like just holding a chicken, just beating the other chicken with it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Making sure it's dead. Is everybody all right? Yeah. Uh, hey, no. where'd the thief go? No. <laughs> and I'm charged up. I come walking out of the bushes, <laughs> like kind of rubbing my eyes and <clears throat> playing with my ear. And that was bright, right? It was <laughs> I, I <laughs> fairly mean... bright. I'm also fairly injured. <laughs> See how you um, survived so long. Hiding in the bushes every time there was trouble, huh? That's right. Smart. Yeah. 
<laughs> he went to the he went to the Zeno Says, School of Combat. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, the Zeno School. Like, I would be on the down. ship for a Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Well, I, I think there's how, medical supplies on the ship. How bad? How badly hurt are you? Um, twenty six damage to a max of thirty one. So pretty bad. Barely. I'm down to five. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, my healing's probably not I'm as good as your healing. Well, heal. thanks for the <laughs> the critical damage. That was so. Investigate. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here goes my investigate. I cast my cantrip, spare the dying. You should be fine Four. now. You're stabilized. Um, you know. Feel better. With the battle that's happening here, it's not difficult much. to really get a good idea of anything that's come through this area or. Um, Ooh, I can study the. Wait. wait. But that'd I can be perception. <coughs> investigate. I can investigate with nineteen. Be one nineteen. Three. That'll help. Perception would be yeah. the other. I can. Uh, I got a twenty-two on my perception. Yeah. Oh. I can. I do like I that. It be that. Tracks your spell use though. Yeah. yeah um, uh, the D&D dot com is sorry. If you if you have a tablet, it would work really well. But on your cell phone, not not so great. So I can spend a minute and I can read the Earth. And then I get to ask three questions. You can read the whole earth. I can read the in earth. A minute? I can. I can read the earth around us. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to spend a minute to wonder, do that? I wonder if he's gonna yeah. ask any questions. Sure, I'll take questions. a short rest. Why don't you go stand <laughs> over over by um, <laughs> the Zaga there when you read the earth? Measure of time. Yeah. Ah, uh, you got a decent. Uh, it's about ten pounds, isn't it? You could just <laughs> tell me whether my finger feels funny to you. <laughs> <laughs> when he says pull his finger, yeah, do it. Don't pull his finger. Read the earth. So oh. you're, so you're smells, reading the earth, and you get what? You get three I get questions. to ask three questions. Okay. Um, and they have to occur have occurred within the last twenty four hours. Um, okay. So we can ask. Uh, what number of creatures passed through the area? Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. What direction were they going? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's fairly useful. And um, what were the two races of the creatures that passed through? Okay. Those would be my three questions. Those, that, are, good questions. those are going to be the three questions you ask? Yeah. All right. Uh, you just got automatically get an answer, or do you have to... I ask you, and you... Okay. I get an answer cool. automatically. Right. Um, so... There are a number of creatures who have passed through this area in the last 24 hours. Um, there are um, mechanical dwarves that have passed through, and they headed to the northwest. Um, there are um, the cr creatures like similar to what you've seen, um, the Watchers, and they've kind of just ambled around this area. Uh, there was larger creatures. Um, you would know. You would have called them probably uh, saber saws. Um, they're bigger creatures. Um, and uh, and that's it. Okay. And so that was the answers to two. Did I answer all three questions? Um, yeah. What direction were they going? Yeah. So the robot chickens were meandering. Meandering. And then the saber saw went north. to the north uh, east, and the dwarves went to the northwest. Okay. So northwest is northwest. Back the coast. Let's go to northwest then. Yeah. We're following the dwarves. Good. Well, if real dwarves have mines and treasure and ale and stuff no, that's valuable, I... then mechanical dwarves may have also things that are valuable. I agree. And with we're here one. for treasure. No, 100%. So <laughs> of, the, of the choices, robot chickens, no treasure. Yeah. It might be funny, but they're well, no treasure. I mean, they're decent. He's well. got these clubs. I, yeah, I got a club. All right. Well, you already have four clubs. Do you really need more clubs? Let's go find these. <laughs> I say we go magical, mechanical. It mines. does the same as my battle axe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <So> <laughs> back to the ship. But you refuse. You to head you. to the north. To the we can't go back to the ship without treasure. I'm I'm all for following the dwarves for treasure. Okay. Yeah. We'll go to the dwarves. If there's no treasure there, then back to the ship. I'm still not leaving until I find my friend. Doug, roll a, a okay. D12 for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure knowing you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zena's so mean and kind of bitchy. There's some <laughs> I got a ten. That were... I don't know. Bazanga's like I finally feel... someone's making sense around I'm, here. I feel <laughs> at home on my ship at sea. This is not that. Okay. I got a ten though. But... So as you make your way through the forest, you don't have your own ship towards, yet. towards the, the north the west. Uh -huh. um, you see uh, that the foliage has the foliage here has uh, retreated away. Um, there is a massive heat source, a metal ring okay. um, that uh, that sheds a ruby red beam into the oh, sky. Oh, this is the light that called us here. 
Um, and it looks like the vines and Perfect. the um, the vines and the foliage have kind of retreated away from it, either been killed by okay. it um, or been uh, it moved away like plants do. From can it. I, so can I get works? close enough to throw um, this chicken into the light? Yeah. I, I, I'm going to do that. I picked up Detect Magic from the library, the, tre the treasure okay. vault. So can I use that to see if there's any magical influence here? Sure. Okay. So Just I'll do that. Beam of light glow brightly. It does have a very strong evocation magic. Okay. Yeah. If we look straight up, is there like um, a bat silhouette? Would be Arcana to know what it's oh, doing? Shit. I'm about, I'm about uh, to yeah, make a chicken symbol. I'm throw the chicken. So that's a 21. <laughs> These are ones my Arcana. Chicken, man. Um, <coughs> you would think that this is some kind of propulsion type device. Like, in, in modern day, we would think of it as like a jet engine. So this is a jet engine that's pointing downward it's yes. cuz the, the, the exhaust is, is going, going up. up. Yes. It's this is what makes the earth spin. <laughs> Hang on, where's Cirque's deception? Yeah. The earth the earth spins. <laughs> yep. So, I thought it was then, flat. And then Cirque yeah. gets close That's enough. a no, flat. That, no, I've deception. seen maps. The yeah, they're flat. It's, it's like a table. You are you're a very strong uh, individual. Yeah. I was trying to figure out if creature would be the right mm, it's not. That's that's, um, that's accurate. Make a athletics check. Probably keeping the island from getting much higher above the surface. <laughs> we turn this off, the okay, island so goes up. Pretty the, close. And there's probably more treasure under there. They probably make it easier uh, to get through. But treasure you bury down. We made the other up. up. No, it's logic. All right. Totally well, now I know out. what happens when you touch that. <laughs> yeah. He tossed the 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 watcher in, and it just incinerated it. Okay. Very easy. Uh, so Vizago would be like, now remind me, starts real. Because I'll admit I was drunk when you told me the first time, <laughs> and the second time. And the third time. When you are had you drunk this, now? I was gonna say, when aren't you drunk? When you had this vision, um, didn't you say there was like a big thing that you were stabbing? Yeah, a big creature. Howard, uh, what's your vision? Yeah, yeah, it was like a giant version of these robot things, but more like a dinosaur. So I'm gonna make a perception check. Okay. Do we see? Ooh, that's not a good perception. Why don't you read right? the Earth some more and see if that thing that he's looking for is coming around? Nine. nine I gotta take a rest before I can read the Earth again. Nine. Um, I will give it to you because it's not hard to track uh, a creature <coughs> that is gargantuan. <coughs> um, you definitely do see some tracks, and they lead off from where you are. They lead off to the northeast. I can't grapple that. You're right. Northwest sounds like a fantastic direction to go in, everybody. Just I keep really going northeast. Just no, northwest. 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 Yep. Northwest, it is. northwest okay. it is. So we're already at the coast. So just no, north. you're not at the coast. No, coast yet. Oh, we're we're on the just way. injured that hex. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just mark the map that there's this big thing here. Let's just keep going. It just put it. So put it like is, a marker. This is where the giant. Beam so we can wait yeah. yeah. it yep. on the way back. Yep. So you want to keep going because you haven't found the dwarves yet. Do you want to keep going? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dwarves and treasure. So, um, you can, uh, let's make a survival check for me. Survival. 16. 16. 12. Hey. 22. Hey. Somebody's got a real survival. Um, I had a real survival. So, you, you pick up tracks, and he picks up tracks, and you're like, I'm pretty sure the doors just continue this direction. Um, so probably about a half a day goes by as you're following these tracks through the jungle. And you come to another clearing and you see mechanical dwarves. And what they're doing is they're working around these like venting grates um, in the forest. Um, and there are all of these uh, oddly colored mushrooms that they're working around. And they're clearing the mushrooms away from the grates. Um, it's like the mushrooms are growing because of something that's yeah. being emitted. Yeah. Okay. So, are you guys hiding at all? Or are you just stepping out of the forest to see them? What's... Yeah, I'm definitely hiding. Let me roll that. <coughs> Five? Oh, no. No, no, no. Ooh. Eighteen. Okay. <laughs> Get down, you fool! What? <laughs> Twenty-four. I am hiding. So even with myself, I only got twelve. Oh, Sir, is Sir hiding? 17. 17. So they, the dwarves look up and they're like, 
I went plus Hello? eight stealth. Hello. Before. Okay. Hey, do you guys know Dario? <laughs> yeah. We're friends with Dario. We're friends with Dario. That's what are you doing? <laughs> we're, we're totally clear clear out these mushrooms. Uh, they by the beholder. They, yeah. Rune dies says if they if they grow too much they'll block the grate and that that's not good. What kind of mushrooms are those? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, like, and that's when he comes out stealth. Like, seriously, what kind of mushrooms are those? <laughs> um, Can we cook those? We're not. I mean, we're we're, we're not trained in survival. Hey, um, what's hey, the great scout? Man. It's a vent. What, what kind of mushrooms are these? What's the venting? Are they good it's mushrooms? I'm not trying from that beam I over there. Know either. <laughs> You guys know what that beam is and what it's doing? Uh, I think it was part of. I can stealth uh, take some nice mushrooms. Ship. <laughs> Don't know what they are. <coughs> Why don't you just I doubt my captain's survival ship. tells me anything about the plant. I mean, it looks edible. Yeah. Yeah. The ship is not edible. Um, I suppose <laughs> I could become captain of this ship. So if you kill the moon dice, yeah, you become you captain of the ship. <laughs> Yeah, you keep what you kill. And then you can <laughs> sure. sail the stars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You, I had a cousin do that once, kill a chieftain, became king of a barbarian horde or something. Mm, yeah. So, that's yeah, true. that's how it works. It did happen. It did. <laughs> um, um, it's in history books. It, mm -hmm. So um, the dwarves say, if you want the mushrooms, we're just clearing them out. And then what, we'll leave what the rod if over we, there. What happens if we stack all the mushrooms on the vent? Probably gonna upset I have a question for you. On my okay. survival check. Are you guys me. miners at all? Do you have uh, like a mechanical dwarven mine and mechanical treasures of some sort? Back on our home planet, we had a uh, mechanical dwarven mine. We mined cogs. There's but a not treasure here. Crystalline cogs. If I was looking for a giant robot dinosaur that had treasure, where would I look? Oh, it's. Um, you, you're looking for Thunderjaw. He's we saw him. Thunderjaw. It's named. Okay. It's adorable. We yeah. should kill it. Question. We have to clarify <laughs> something here. Does Thunderjaw have treasure? Uh, I'm sure he's he's got many components that could be considered treasure. Yeah. I mean, these guys mine cogs. So, do the robot chickens have components that could be considered treasure? I'm sure you could build stuff out yeah. of them. No, we're not just going to go kill something for parts. It's a big one, though. What would like we do with the parts? <coughs> we sell them to these guys. There's like a golden scepter of some kind. Huh? What? I'm the sure Wait, of it. Wait, what? Golden scepter? Yeah. yeah. That's the, that's the golden scepter? Wait, main the reason we're here. There. They say um, the, the creatures on this island are made out of a lot of valuable materials. Why so, were we throwing them into the exhaust thing? And using them as clubs. You said they were just useful for clubs. They're made out of metal. <laughs> I mean, but, but so go. We make strictly rational decisions. And he eats the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I said, like doing a nature or a survival check on it. Um, like, you think that they're edible? Um, you. you get real high for about the next Fuck eight yeah. hours. <laughs> Mazako takes all the mushrooms you are, they're willing you to are give considered us. considered poisoned. Uh, so disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. But mm -hmm. you are, when you come out of this, you're like, that was the best. best. So there's a market these, for the mushrooms then? These are going to the ship. All right. All right. <laughs> Back up the Back mushrooms up and we're heading out. All right. Hang on. We're Is packing up the mushrooms. We're going to the kill the, Thunder Jaw. Yeah, okay. And then we're out of here. Let's take a detour by the ship first, unload the mushrooms, and then we can go kill You're Thunder Jaw. But we're away from already the ship. here. Let's go kill Thunder Jaw. But what will happen to the mushrooms? They grow back. They grow. We'll just keep saying. We, this, this I'm marking it down because we can just take the ship over here, yeah. okay. take a dinghy, yeah. get the mushrooms, fill yeah. back. dinghy with mushrooms. Yeah, but we can't do that Thunder if we're eaten jump. by so Thunder as you're, as you're guys are I have this it's control rod. I can just control it. He's got as the you control guys are debating, um, a red Did you activate the camera. <laughs> like, what was your decision flashes, on that? Okay. And then you see a small image. Natural 21. Holder. Oh, okay. Okay, it's here. Roll, roll out of the top your, of it. Okay. <sighs> like in Star Wars. <laughs> what? You can't say that. Okay. Like so in wait, wait, wait. A 12. space war. <laughs> um, um, that would have been 13. And he's like, so hey, I how's believe. it going? Well, all I'm trying to do is convince my friends here to go kill Thunderjaw with me. Yeah? Yeah. How's that coming? 
Uh, I think it's fine. I mean, your viewers want it, right? Yeah. See, his viewers want it. I don't owe him anything. Why would we owe his viewers? I'm pretty sure you took some spells of mine, yes? No. Yes, you did. I left the books in your library as per instructions. I did not take anything out of your vault. Yeah. Sure, let's go back to the ship time in my when vault? he's mad at you. That seems like that a would, wise choice. Did you, would you, did you benefit from the fight to decide my life? Absolutely. See? Deal. Fair. Good. <laughs> Moving on. Thunder Ja. Thunder Ja. Yo. Way. <laughs> <laughs> You, you see that you see Rundai's little image nodding. Yes! Vizago is just Strike winking. Strike him down! Vizago is just winking slowly at the iBot right. and wondering whether something's going to happen. I, I'm assuming a thunder wave is going to happen. <laughs> Let's just go kill Thunderjaw and then be done with the island. Sounds great. Um, also, if you could eliminate the creatures in the evergreen forest, that'd be awesome. What creatures in the evergreen forest? The Ewoks? Wait, what's, what's in it They're for small us? teddy bears. I'll pay you. With what? Dead teddy bears. <laughs> my, no. my vast sums of money and treasure? Ooh, we get more treasure. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. More we, kill out, we kill all the things in the evergreen forest, we get all of the treasure in your vault? That's not no. what he said. You said he said he's gonna pay us. I said I would pay sum. you with my vast sums. And I would not pay you my vast sums. <laughs> well, I want to be paid your vast sums. He turns to you and he's like, "Now I, he can't hear me, and he can clearly hear it. <laughs> <laughs> when he comes right. back, I'm gonna disintegrate that one." All right. Now. He gives you a thumbs up, but it's just an eye stock. <laughs> <laughs> he only has eye stock. He makes, he makes his like eye stocks into a yeah. fist, and then one goes like <laughs> Zago. Zago uh. goes up to the iBot and then goes, on a scale from 300 to 10,000 gold, how much would you be willing to pay us? And he's going to make a persuasion check. Okay. With oh, yeah. Or with disadvantage. Advantage. You can have advantage. Is he still poisoned? I'm super oh, charismatic. Right. <laughs> 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 I, I would say you do take the lower result. Thank you, Howard. For so it's only a 13 instead okay. of a 14. Uh, he says, how about... Um, 3,000 gold pieces. Have you always been a giant flatting eyeball thing? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I thought I was seeing something. <laughs> How much if we kill this, uh, the thunder jaw thing? Um, I'll pay you for the material. What's the material worth? Uh, it depends on how good of a job you do bringing it back. That like, seems fair. Like on a no, scale. Seems I don't want to bring it back and say, okay, that's 10 yeah. copper. Like oh, on a scale from 3,000 to 10,000 gold. Go ahead and roll. Disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a 14 either way. Okay, so he says, um, if you do a good job coming, bringing, back, bringing the stuff back, I will give you 5,000 gold pieces for a thunder job. See? That's 8,000 gold we just negotiated. This seems like All a great plan. All you have to do is not be one of those watchers. And what are those watchers? They're chickens. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the argument you make to Cirque. Yeah. They're chickens. Yeah. That's All you gotta do is not be a chicken. I'm not a chicken. And we get 8,000 gold. That's, I'm gonna make a perception check good. real quick to make sure that Cirque's not a chicken. Okay, he's That's not a chicken. That's 7,200 gold after tithing. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, I totally My math that you on that was totally as fine as 8,000 gold. <laughs> like, hmm, how can I mess with you? That's a small fee yeah. to the it's goddess of the sea. He says, well, you know, I got to get going. Got a kingdom to rule after all. You guys got stuff to do. So all right. as, take it you're, easy. as you're following when me as we're walking away, up. I'm going to start leaning to one side, <laughs> but, as, but I still walk forward and just wait till I hear a thump. <laughs> you know what happens? What happens is he grabs onto Xenos. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> then you definitely the we all fall. Yeah, we both fall. I turn to Xenos and I go, you didn't hear this. I'm pretty sure he didn't hear this, but I think he's going to disintegrate you when we get back. Yeah, he totally it. said that. Yeah, I, I, I kind of picked up on that. <clears throat> what would you think? Is he thinking some way we could bring Thunderjaw back to him, but have Thunderjaw be alive so maybe he gets eaten by the dinosaur? Yeah. 
Yeah. So instead of That's me being disintegrated. Let's do a boss thunder- fight. Yeah. <laughs> a boss <laughs> fight. Can you imagine? Fight. The viewers now, would love it. Right? Uh, so that's only I have a little experience like, with these guys. You guys weren't there, but to be chased by dinosaurs. That's true. Well, the problem is that as soon as we get out of that one hex, it just goes back to its spawn point. Yeah. Oh. I mean, so it, it, it annihilates on. all of the level one characters at the Okay, so you stay on hexes. one side of the hex, and I'll stand on the other. And then as I get close, you hit it to pull the aggro. Yeah, we got to train line. it through the zones is the problem. <laughs> so <laughs> in, like, in my know. mind, they're talking like normal RP characters, but this is the, this conversation, is the conversation that Pizzago hears. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what are you talking about level one? And they're like, you're talking about the dwarves <laughs> out there. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so what do you guys want to do? I want to kill Thunderjaw and the teddy bears, or whatever. I mean, I, I'm assuming that's what's in so the Evergreen Forest. So ask the dwarves. So what's in the Evergreen Forest? Oh, we don't go in there. Why? Okay, why? Uh, because ever since it appeared, um, anything mechanical that goes in there dies. Oh, oh what really? Kills it? It, we should a, go in there. When did mechanical? it appear? Um, three months ago. Three months ago, that whole forest just went poof. Mm-hmm. Why do you guys stay here? <laughs> Why do we stay We're here? I don't know either. Guys. Well, it's 8,000 gold and you parted it. Let's go in there. Let's go in there and see what happens. Do you want to go to the forest first or? The do we have any of those robot chickens? Thunder jaw. I can go get one. Let's throw a robot chicken in the forest, see what happens. Okay, we go get one. I can go get one. Go, go, so I go find go. a chicken and just be the chicken. So it's going to take you two days of travel to get to <laughs> the, the, actually three days to get to the forest. Okay. Um, so during those three days, uh, Mike needs to make a survival check. Can I uh, help him out here? Have advantage? Yeah. yeah. 14. 14. Okay. So you managed to scrounge up enough food and water um, to keep yourselves going that whole time. Are, um, so Doug, we're going to get 12 for me? Here? Yeah, you'll go there. Okay. That's a nine. Nine, okay. So as you uh, as you navigate this dense terrain, uh, you come along a low rise hill with a metal door set into it, uh, into a shallow alcove, um, and a low hum fills the area. What kind of a hum? Like a mechanical hum or like a, oh, okay. Not like a fairy forest magical hum? Like, mm-hmm. no. No, no but okay. if you want, we got this bag right? of mushrooms and you could definitely door, hear that door. fairy yeah, forest hum. Yeah. There's noise behind the door that's creating a hum. All right, so I got a natural 23 on insight to have some idea what the heck that thing might be. Uh, it appears to be a door into Lord Rundai's ship somehow. Um, and it is creating a hum. You can't really tell from behind it. Hey, can you open the door? You said you were a rogue, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna step uh, 35 feet back. Maybe <laughs> Wise is behind the door. Yeah, Maybe. check check the door. Don't check in the you door. You might wanna check I it mean, for traps. We had a bad experience v- once. Vizag- 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 says, don't worry, but I'm right you behind you and you feel a hand on your back right. and that's my mage hand as I'm so, 35 um, feet back and I'm patting <laughs> you on the back. That's a, I got a 20. To uh, perception to look for traps around the door. You don't find any traps around the door. <laughs> I step 35 feet back and wish you the best of luck. <laughs> don't worry, you yeah. got you got this. this. So you are examining the door. Okay. Go ahead, and make an investigation check for me. Ooh. And while that is happening, I, I need everybody it. to roll a 20 and add your initiative bonus to it. <clears throat> oh. There's gonna be a fight. Look at that. So on my uh, investigation, that's a four. Oh, good. So told you they were in traps. You're Natural good. one plus three. Oh, but my initiative's better. Does anybody beat a, a six? Fifteen. Oh no. Did you beat a fifteen? Yes, I did. You did, didn't you? Okay. Twenty. No, I got a six. Nope. Anybody oh, beat a twenty-two? Oh. Oh. No. You're um, you're looking at the door, um, and you can't <sighs> see any way to access it that you can really think of. Um, It'd be like if um, control rod. a barbarian came to a, a grocery store after it closed, and like I, uh, I, I can get it. I don't see a handle. <laughs> the doors are automatic; they open, but it doesn't appear that. Automatic they... glass. The barbarian just charged through. Mm-hmm. Well, these these are not. these are steel doors. Yeah, these are steel doors. They're steel bars um, wrapped around. But what you do so notice is, is um, <laughs> more of the watchers. Uh, out of the corner of your eye, you, you notice something, um, and it looks like 
two watchers have walked into this kind of clearing that you're in. Um, We're in the evergreen forest at this point, though, right? You're just on the outside of it. Oh, okay, okay. And they appear to have noticed you and your friends. Okay. So what do you do on your turn? Shoot one in the eye. Yeah. Because I don't want it to do its little ray, sparky ray thing. That'll be good. And that's a 23. Oh, you hit it? <laughs> D6. Are you a sniper? So it's a blind ray. Kind and of. it takes eight okay. points of piercing damage. Eight points? Eight points. All right. Do you eight. get sneak attack because you have before it? Uh, yes, I can. Wants to have a sneak attack. Look at Mike. Look at Mike. I played a rogue. That's eight more. So 16 instead of eight. All right. You that's pretty do good. a significant portion of damage to it. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, um, if it runs away, it runs away. <clears throat> okay, so that's Foxfire Shipwreck. I'm going to go um, charge that one. <laughs> you're going to charge the one that got hit? Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and set these up on the map so that we can actually the same see, map. see what we're looking at. Do we have a... What represents the door? Um, we can just do the, the wall of that ruin there. The wall of that ruin? Okay. Yeah, so he is... So he's at the door. Yeah. That. We will. And then... Um, that one is. I was, there's one more. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I was about here at the yep. bushes. I was about <laughs> here also at the bushes because I was okay. enchanting to him. Okay. okay. So, how many are there, Sean? So, there are two. There's two of them. Okay. He spotted. Um, okay, where one are they? is over like 15 feet away from Zago between those two trees. Oh. Oh, right here? Yeah. And okay. then the other one is over on this side. Oh, down. Okay. Yeah, and that's the one you shot. shot. That's the one I shot. Oh, good. Well, like, Happy we'll there, yeah, sure. Yeah, the one by me. Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll charge the one that he shot. Okay. Done. Thanks, Brendan. Right right That's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 24 to hit it. Uh, that hits. So nine damage. Uh, you kill it. Mm. Hey, I got another club. <laughs> okay. Um, Star Throw. Oh, right. Throw it at the other tree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess I'll try a guiding five. bolt. <laughs> when you get an extra attack. Yeah. Do, 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 guiding do, bolt? Do. Yeah, why not? All right. <clears throat> I, uh, does an 11 hit it? Uh, 11 does not hit it, unfortunately. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so um, you blast with a guiding bolt. Yeah. Never hits, right? Never hits. Never hits. And what you hear is the loudest roar as something kind of um, shifts, shimmers, um, and charges through the trees. And go ahead and put that next to Sarsero. Next to Sarsero? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <clears throat> and. Uh oh. Um, Just, but it's you would know these for. as, as saber saws. These are creatures that seem a little bit more dangerous than, um, the than chickens, the than chickens the that you've chickens. been fighting. So it's going to go ahead and make its multi attack. Excellent. Um, so the first is a 19. Not to That's alarm you, but you exactly have a giant saber saw. And the second is not going to hit. OK, <laughs> it needs to make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. OK. I can't throw that. That is a 13. <laughs> it fails. OK. So it is rebuked uh, with a lightning that. bolt. OK. And it takes 15 damage. 15 damage. All right. So it's one claw does hit you. OK. And you take. 37 damage. <laughs> <laughs> How many take, hit points did I have? Uh, 10 damage. All right. All right. So do I use the chicken or do I use the control rod? <laughs> um, and then the watcher. Oh, wait. I'm I know what I would time. do. It gets advantage on its attack roll. 100% what does? control. <laughs> um, the, the creature, because the other watcher can see. And then you accidentally cast a large on it. So, Wait, on its, what? so the effect that the watchers have is any creature that they can see, their allies have advantage to attack it. So the saber saw is the ally of the watcher? Yeah. Okay. So the second attack actually does hit. Um, so that is uh, nine more damage. Fine. So fog cloud alls the chickens. Whoops, not 90, nine. So the watcher's gonna take a step forward. Mm -hmm. 
So that is adjacent to Visago, and it's going uh, to... That's not... That's, I would have to take two steps, so okay, it's two not... Okay, two steps forward. No, I think but it only on takes one step back. It takes one step back. See. Yep. And then, and then one step forward. One more step forward. And then cha-cha is real smooth. And it does its... Uh, its disorientation. Okay. Um, so constitution. both uh, Visago and Xenos have to make a constitution saving throw. Fortunately, yeah. you've got advantage. 22. Okay. This is Constitution, you say? Uh, constitution, yes. That would be a 13. A 13. Uh, you fail. So you're blinded and deafened. What? Well, that changes my uh, strategy. Or, for my turn. Yeah. You should fireball. One round. So that's okay. not bad. And now it's your turn. Well, um, I was going to put a flaming sphere on the board. So what Xenos hears is. <laughs> um. What I'm talking really loud. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. So fog cloud it is. I create a 20 foot, a radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. Yeah. So centered if I put it, yourself? well, I'm gonna put it between me and Sorcerer. Okay. So okay. that it covers. Gargamel. It's Doug. <laughs> Gargamel over here is gonna and I are gonna be within the Thanks. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15. So that one's covered in it. 1, 5, 10, 15. Yeah. So this one's not in the fog. It's dead. It's, it's dead. dead. Oh, well, then it doesn't matter. It's currently a those, those two are both in the fog, and all, are, all of us are. It's been transmuted into okay. a weapon. <laughs> and um, it, everyone's heavily obscured, um, and. Um, so that was Xenos. Do you want to do anything with your move action or no? Um, I can't see. I'm not moving. Okay. Zago? Hmm. What am I more worried about? Probably more worried about that. Uh, the Saber Saw, I think the name uh -huh. of it, uh, can go ahead and make a Wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's his best. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, a natural one plus one. Ooh, that's <laughs> not as good. You're looking for a 15. Okay. So he is going to take 3d6 psychic damage. Fantastic. Five psychic damage. Well done. Okay. There's a kicker, and he has to use his immediate action to get as far away as, from me as it can for the next round. He has round. to use uh, an immediate action or his action? Target must make a wisdom save on a fail, so it take three days and must use immediate and must immediately use its reaction. Oh, its reaction. Okay, so it moves away. To move as far as possible away from me. Okay, so, so how you're far is that? No. With disadvantage, because you're in, um, in fog. How, what's, how, its what's its speed? Its speed is 40. I oh, wow. 30. 35, 40. And that should buy you a little bit of time. Yeah. Turn tail and ran, like the coward that it is. Okay. Um, you're bad, everyone. Uh, Foxfire. You gonna pick this door? Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for this door. Open to get the over. door. Uh, open you, the door. You see a cloud of fog that you that a large creature has run out of. <laughs> well, you good. can see the creature. Yeah, open the door. I can see the creature, but shoot I'm the creature. not gonna. Get, I can't get close enough for the creature. Oh, I could hit. You can shoot it. I can shoot it. You it's can shoot 80. it. Yeah. Shoot it, Elizabeth. <laughs> shoot an arrow at the giant running creature. Yeah. So oh. Yeah, yeah. Let's shoot an arrow at the giant could running you creature. You use your cunning action to hide before you shoot it, so you can sneak attack it. Because you're in a fog right now, right? No, he's no, in I'm not fog. in the fog. Oh, you're outside of the fog. Never mind. I'm yeah. sorry. <clears throat> Let's just shoot it. That's, I'm sure that's... Uh, 22. 22 hits. And sneak attack. And all the things. Ooh, five. Total. Um, okay. Are you adding your dex to damage? Because that's a thing. Oh, um, let's see. So that would have been... That one is... So, nine... All right. Total. That's better than five. Yeah. Okay. Is oh, it a mechanical okay. creature or is it a... It's a mechanical. Oh, it is mechanical. mechanical. Okay, okay. That's what <clears> I was messing with. <throat> yeah, sorry. No, that's all right. It looks like a giant wolf-type creature. But it's but a robotic with, Like creature. drills, a uh, uh, drill mm. for a mouth and like uh, long claws. Okay. Uh, all right. Shipwreck. You're well, in fog. Um, no, um, you're not. You're outside of it, just oh, barely. Look at you. Well, I can't. You're get, outside of fire. I can't get close enough to that thing, so I'm gonna use the control rod on it. All right. Hell yeah. 
All right. Now I hope it's good. Zenos is not going to see you safely use this controller. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Enlarged creature. 24. <laughs> okay. I think one of those options is to blow up. So. You cast Detect Thoughts. <laughs> on the creature? <laughs> on the creature. Okay. Well, on its turn, it will tell you what it's going to I will tell you what it's going to do. Okay, <laughs> sorcerer. Uh, it needs to make a constitution save. With can you disadvantage. See it? Well, I can move out of the fog if I need to, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to move towards it. Does that get me out of the fog? There you go. Does it, does it, a 10 a 5, 10, 10, it does not. Why did it have disadvantage? Because it is not an organic creature. It is made of an inorganic material, such as crystal, metal, or wood, or okay. stone. So I, uh, I cast Shatter on it. Oh, and, nice. and I'm using one of my um, one of my abilities to maximize the damage, so it of takes course. 24 damage. 24 damage. Jeez. Wow, quite a bit mm -hmm. of damage. All right. And then, because I can continue my movement, right? Uh huh. Does it have an intelligence of 40 or lower? It's good. Okay. Good call. Uh, yeah, six. <laughs> okay. Step out of the fog. Shadow the giant. So basically, the like a and ball of thunderous energy. Okay. Erupts right <coughs> within its face. All right. Uh, so that is it. Uh, your turn. Now, is it still moving away from you? No. No. It gets this round, so it's back to normal now. Okay. So it moves back to adjacent to you. I'm in the fog. I know. It Can just it moves me? forward until it basically Five, until it bumps nine, into 15, me. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, so it gets to you. Okay. And then it emits a very um, high-pitched uh, whine that just emanates out. You would, it, this is a similar sound to what your thunder wave sounds like. <laughs> but it, it emanates out from it. Okay. And um, it hits both you and, and Sir Aww. in in the thunder wave. Um, and you guys can go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Well. Thirteen. Uh, you fail. <laughs> Wait, I both of us? Shocked. Yeah. Shocked. But I rolled higher than he did. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a six. I rolled an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so I only get my con bonus mm. to my save. No bonuses. Yeah. Is Twenty-three this an, damage. Just an enchantment. Ooh. No. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> you are? Yeah. You're laying down. I'm You're definitely also <laughs> pushed 10 feet. laying. <laughs> oh, it's like Thunder Wave. Uh, so I'm also pushed 10 feet? Yeah. And not broke. Dick. <laughs> so that's um, what that feels like. <laughs> Only I knew. So well, the. You still um, don't. You're not going to remember it. The chicken, uh, <laughs> yeah, the watcher adjacent to Vizago is going to make an attack against Vizago. Uh, natural one and a 12, so uh, not going to hit. Uh, Xenos. Okay, well, I look down at Sarsro, who's at my feet. <laughs> yep. Dead. He actually pushed up against your feet. Yeah, and I say, <laughs> I told you we should have gone back to the ship. Um, now. Can't hear you. <laughs> what? Because I can see now. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, not really, because there's fog. Um, well, I, I know that the cr this thing's over here. You heard that. I yeah. heard that, and I know this thing's over here. Yep. So I can put my flaming sphere here, mm -hmm. and it needs to make a save to determine how much. Is that of an attack? What? The the thunder wave is that like does that uh, count? It's an area of effect spell. So. Well, that's the thing. It says when when a creature within five feet of me that I can see hits me with an attack. No. Okay. So it needs to make a uh, deck save. Okay. 14. Super okay, so thing. it takes um, half of 11. It takes five damage. Okay. And then, as my bonus action, I um, can move my flaming sphere 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So ramming it into that. And, um, and that may... I can see pretty well for fog. It's a big, you know, huge wait, 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 wait. creature. Exact here's, speed. here's the thing. Is fog cloud a concentration spell? Fog cloud a concentration? Okay. No, I don't no, think so. No, it, it lasts a them. number of rounds. Yeah. Oh, it is concentration. Okay. Oh. Oh. And so is your flaming sphere. Oh. So, 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 so you cast the sphere, the fog when goes when away. Fog, so the fog lasts for one more round. That's how that works. But it's getting okay. burned out. Wherever the flame touches it, though, it's also Okay, so in any event, 
right. I think it's, I mean, it did the thunder wave. It kicked my friend straight at me. Sure. I know generally where oh, it is. Oh, you I'm called me saying. a friend. Just saying. <laughs> you all heard yeah. it? I didn't hear it. I'm yeah. unconscious. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, the, uh, it needs to make a uh, save as well. Good. Okay. A D, uh, reflex save. And what's the DC? The DC is... <laughs> is it above nine? It is above nine. It's a 13. Nine? Nine is what it, what it got. So it takes seven fire damage. So, uh, we got, I just got a, from a mini lead. It's, no, daddy is dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, all right, so that is Zenos. Um, uh, Vizago. He's just sleeping. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sleeping. I'll be okay. So you see uh, a watcher right next to you that can see you now. Uh huh. Yep. You should kill that thing. Are you moving away from it? Mm hmm. Are you it can, it can take disengaging? Or are you... I don't have the, a disengage skill. Okay, go right. ahead and make it the, stack. You can disengage as an the action. The big guy gets advantage 17? on attack rolls 17 hits. when the watcher can see you. Yeah. Okay. So kill the watcher. Maybe it'll eat that orc. <clears throat> uh, four damage. Okay. It swings around and hits you with its tail. Four. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, though... Oh, i got to see if it recharges its dis disorient. No. You gain 10 hit points. Yes! See, I'm fine. Oh, I was going to give you a vision. I don't know. Uh, Foxfire. <laughs> I'm going after the little watcher thing. Okay, you're going to get all the way. Yep, I can get all the way to Is it. Oh, I'm Misago sorry. Before we, before we, no. No. Before we move, uh, you have a D6 if you need to use it. You have one inspiration die for me. Neat. So I can do that as a bonus, which I need to remember is a bonus action. <laughs> and that just gets that added. Going that just gets added to the attack. If yeah, I need and it. you can choose to use it after you roll. So if you roll, Neat. it's good. You don't have to use it. I'm not going to use it. Yeah, that was good. Save it for later. So that's a uh, with the thing is 23 to hit. Yep. And then I got to roll a d8 plus these things. Using my rapier to <coughs> do. Twelve. No, you don't get sneak attack on this because there's not an adjacent. Yeah. 12 damage to it. Then. Okay. You mess it up quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, okay, shipwreck. So I shake the controller on them like, this thing worked so much better last time. <laughs> Do that again. Uh, lightning bolt this time. Lightning bolt? <laughs> so 45, which is lightning bolt. It's like the biggest part there is. Before you did it? Sure. So that's 8d6. This should Holy go crap, how'd you do that? <laughs> um, yeah, you would be interested. It's, it's, well, you've done this before, but you yeah. didn't do this before. I, I made you do this before. Yeah. You did it to a frog. Oh, yeah. Nice. Five, seven, nine. That is a crappy Ten. lightning bolt. 21 damage. All right. It does not decimate this thing, but it, oh, it, well, it gets lightning. It course. gets a reflex save. Lightning courses through its body. Um, I got a 18? Yeah, that saves. All right, so I'm going to so give it 11. Back. Lightning courses through its body, and it kind of jitters, and uh, the lightning just kind of dissipates into the ground. Um, it heals. It <laughs> looks messed up at this point. <laughs> Uh, like a parts hanging on, like. Yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> Springy the, eyeball. the um, thing that emitted the thunder wave has broken off and landed oh, onto the ground. So That's this goes place. for a hundred feet, and anything organic or flammable <laughs> starts. Sure. Yeah, up I mean, a, a lightning bolt. A frog goes, dies. Yeah, <laughs> a a frog. Grand. You've killed several watchers along the way. Um, <laughs> they just pop out so, like, what was that? Uh, Sartre, it is your turn. Uh, You're not dead. I'm not dead. You're not dead. Uh, I guess I stand up. Get up. <clears throat> stand up. Fight for your right. Yeah. I shake myself off. That's that's it. That's your whole turn. <laughs> Shaking yourself off is No, not, it is not. It's not a bonus action. It is too. <laughs> <laughs> it's caused a fine. Uh, yeah, nice. yeah, it's part of my Tempest domain. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna toll the dead on it because I, I. You don't want to go up and fight it. I don't want to be right. Why don't you next stand to right next to the fireball? Yeah, I, no, it's no. gotta make a. Okay. It's gotta make a wisdom save. That's what it Which is. Which is one All of right. its best saving throws. <laughs> uh, nine. It does not make its save, and it takes nine damage. All right, it takes nine damage. Okay. 
uh, Visago, uh, because Visago's an asshole, will point out, um, you know, your god saved your life once and you spend your whole life worshiping it. This is this is three for the V man. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> you gotta know that that I'm only here because I'm serving my goddess and So Doug, it is the saber saw's turn. Does it take damage on the end of his turn if it's still adjacent to it? I mean if okay. you if we were gonna take, you know, percentages of your loot so to donate to deities you might save your life. Camouflage shield a comes up. You just kind Maybe. of like you see it glitch out for a second, um, and then it appears not real, not adjacent well. to Xenos. Wait, it teleports to here? Um, kind of. Yeah. That, Dimensional doors. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's not cool. No. And I got a. Plus one, eight, a 19 on it to intimidate versus you. 19 versus my what? Uh, let's say wisdom. So I roll a wisdom? Yeah. Do it. You can do it. Now I have advantage against fear. Is well, this a fear? Yeah, it's a fear. And you have a... So it's a wisdom... It's a wisdom save, save. Right? Yeah, Oh, okay. it's a wisdom save. So that would be a 16. Okay. Or... That's not a 19. A 15. A little pee comes out. Just a little <laughs> <pee>. <laughs> <laughs> Like, enough that it's noticeable, but not, a, I mean, you could say that it rained. And, uh, Bushes were damp this morning. Yeah. Um, all like right, the so story. the Watcher is going to go. It um, is going to attack Firefox. Woohoo. Uh, that is Fox a, Fire. Oh, I'm sorry, Fire. Fox Fire. It's totally different. Yep. Totally different. Totally different. That is a 20 versus your AC. Oh, I'm man. Yeah, that hits. Hit. Yeah. And six. Plus two is eight damage, eight bludgeoning damage. damage. It swings around and again hits you with its tail, and I have to see if it recharges. No, it doesn't recharge its disorient. Uh, okay, so Xenos, a little pee came out. Okay, so um, as a bonus action, I can ram my uh, flaming sphere into that thing. Sure you can. So it needs to make you a save. You don't want to put it next to Sarsaro? No, I don't. Okay. So Good. is it gonna make a save? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Nope. That takes five damage. You kill it? Of course I do. I wonder what kind of, of parts you can get for, or money you can get for that thing. And that is why I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What else do you do? Anything? Uh, he well, gloats a little. I do gloat a little. You got it, right? Yeah, that's a bonus action. You gloat. <laughs> is that All right, I'll flame. I'll flame bolt that. That, that thing over there. That's like asparagus. Um, that's a four. I'm sorry, 15 to hit the that uh, hits. chicken. Roll your damage. Eight fire damage you kill to the that chicken. One too. <laughs> and that's why I'm oh, the captain. Now that's why I'm the captain. Wizard. Why didn't you do that at the beginning? <laughs> why haven't you, you been doing that all along? <laughs> wanted to give you a chance. <laughs> that's wizard, Xenos. You know, uh, he would have done it at the beginning, but so door. as an all. Uh -huh. uh, Impotent being, oh, I yeah. decided that we knock. need to see Can how this plays out for at least a little bit. I wanted to see what they would do, and I wanted to see if you're up so high right now. <laughs> no, I, for once I'm actually not. Otherwise, this would be a way better argument. <laughs> Roll your thing. So you know, what it you guys see as you guys are... Has has I guess it has. He's not high anymore? It's no, because it's been oh, like oh, three okay. days. Okay. Yeah. How many mushrooms did you bring? <laughs> oh, we brought them back. I just haven't dipped back in yet. <laughs> So well, everybody, you guys, you guys everybody needs to make it a constitution save. He what did you do? He <laughs> has a damn control rod again. And he looks for a control panel to open the door. Oh, no, he that's... see that, so he uses the control lock. All right, <laughs> so I got a 17, Mike. 21. You're fine, you're constitution fine. Constitution save? Yeah. 13. You're not fine. Six. You six? Okay. Even each creature in the area, it's a 30-foot radius, surrounded, surrounded on me. Uh, gets disintegrated. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pleasure. Uh, it was a mini game, game. We become blinded for a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. A burst of colorful, <laughs> shimmering light. I don't think you read this. From you. He, didn't, he didn't make it to us. Oh, no, I was in front of the door and I, the door. I stepped back 15 feet. Oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Like <laughs> yeah. So, what happens? It's so, just, you just, you, um, it's just a bright sh shimmering light extends mm -hmm. from me in a 30 foot radius. Mm -hmm. These 15 con saber become blinded for one minute. Hey. All right, take 
And, and it, you can, save. you can, <laughs> did you, you make can, your save? Yeah, uh, you can make it again at the end of your turn. Did oh, you okay. Make your save? Uh, yeah. So twenty-five. No. So uh, Xenos <laughs> walks back up to you, nope. grabs that control <laughs> rod, and <laughs> says, "You're no. <laughs> you <laughs> lost control rod privileges." <clears throat> It's some all lost. It's no, it's fair. <laughs> I'm glad because he's not going to use it when he shouldn't use it, which means we're going to have to get out of his hands again at some point. Here, have this mushroom. It's, it's delicious. It goes in all of our meals. Yep. Mm. Cream of mushroom soup. That's what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, that's totally what we need to drug the crew with. So I can um, spice that up. That Think about the morale. Traveling to the forest is uh, probably a couple more hours. Okay. Um, should we take a short rest, everybody? I think we should. That's fine. Short hey, rest. Hey, tell you what. What if I spend a thing and I give us a little little duty, and you can spend an extra d6 when you're spending your hit point. That nice. sounds I'm, lovely. I'm gonna spend two of them. I'm gonna spend two of them as well. Do 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 do. And you get how many d6? You just get one, one d6. Per hit dice or total? Total. That would be so rad. But I I don't I don't really have to do anything for it. It's just like a bonus I can get out. So. And you, you have what instrument? I have a loop. Okay. And you roll a five. I have a loop and a, I roll I have a, a loop and a pan flute. And when you when you give people inspiration, what does that look like? Oh, I'm just telling people things. Again, because he hasn't connected the dots between music and magic. Yeah. So in his mind, bard magic is just yelling at people. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do yeah. Okay. So he, he does the songs, and I don't think he really realizes what the songs do. Okay. So yeah. All right, cool. He just thinks he's a wizard, essentially. Okay, now. Um, I'm just like you. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just like, like you. you. I say things, things happen. That's because I'm the captain. We're the same. So, <laughs> same, same. As you're traveling <laughs> to the Evergreen Forest, the you notice that there is a very visible line of dead creatures, dead, uh, Mechanical creatures <clears throat> for about that years. are just <laughs> before the tree line. Okay. Um, they appear to have been slain by arrows. Um, are you bringing the camera into? <clears throat> the well, I mean, I'm. You know, I think it should get a pan shot me. first to get us yeah, like, coming you can, in. You can give it to me. And these are and these like, group hero shots so like in the Avengers. Yeah, you know, camera of, all right. of us walking in. Yeah, camera. But, I think. It's not safe for you to follow me. Wait, hold on. I go. No, no, no. It's got to. I'm going to make a persuasion check. Just to check. <laughs> Why don't you go up to that forest edge and see? <laughs> Give that pan <laughs> shot. Okay. Um. So it goes towards it. Okay. Um. And how long do you want it to stay there? I don't know, like a minute. Okay. So it goes there. Now, now turn around and get a good heroic shot of me, standing here being heroic. Um, an arrow swoops by it, <laughs> and it comes zooming back. Okay. Yeah. There's arrows. There's arrows. Um, hey, did somebody lose this? <laughs> We're what kind of back. arrow is it? What does it look like? Um, it looks like, uh, so does it look normal arrows are made fletched. Or elf made? Uh, it looks more elf made. Um, normal arrows Shrink. are fletched, but in this case, it looks like... It was grown. Yeah, it was... Actually, it does. Um, it does not does not have an arrow head specifically, and the um, the uh, the quills the quills fletching the fletching part the of feathers. the feathers the feathers um, are leaves. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this obviously came from an arrow root. <laughs> oh man. So what do you do? Culinary pun. Okay, could you could you skip around and get to the point of it already? <laughs> Really shafting us on the details. Oh my gosh. Man. These puns don't, are just piercing. Don't draw my bros. <laughs> He's <laughs> leaving you in the dust. It's terrible. Right, so well, I, I go up to the tree line area. Okay. I'm like, hey. <clears throat> yes? Is this yours? Yeah. Why Ready? do you travel with machines? I don't have a choice. That thing's kind of an asshole, to be honest. Following us around. Yeah, it just falls For the amusement of... Have it stay out there. People. I tell it. You might, you might we, want to stay out of here. If we so, bring it in with us, will you destroy it? Yes. Hey, come with us, camera. It, it might be a good idea. 
that. So I, I, mean, I go walk in there. What am I? Who am I talking to? So you walk into like a. Um, you should stay. Like a redwood forest. These trees are enormous. Uh, biggest are, trees you've ever seen. And they're a couple months old. And they're a couple months old. Um, and why don't you make a perception check? Are you Eight. guys? Are you guys also following? I'm the gonna. Yeah, follow. I'm gonna go in the forest. But when I'm he makes, with my brother. So, like, I'm guessing there's a lot of foliage up there and the yeah. giant trees. Mm -hmm. Foliage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up my sword cane, and kind it's of like, like this, foliage, and kind of stretch giant. out, and then I'm gonna close my eyes <laughs> well, and yeah. see through the top okay. of the sword cane. Why don't you make a perception check with advantage? And it's going to be 19. Okay. I-22 is stealthy in. Okay. So you sneak in. You just walk in. I just walk in. Yeah. So yes. you, don't, you don't spot anything. It's your, you just, it's basically a disembodied voice. Um, what you see... I just gotta stretch out my sword? ...is a, um, a humanoid-looking creature. It looks uh, thinner than a humanoid should be uh, for as tall as it is. Um, and it has, um, like, almost like fur... Uh, but in a sort of humanoid-ish pattern. Like, it has, uh, where a normal arm hair would be, it's yeah. much thicker. Um, and then around its head, it has a much longer fur that almost looks like hair. Um, Could I do a nature check and see if I know what it is? Uh, that would be a 13. Okay. Um... It's nothing that you've seen um, in in the wild that you've been in, yeah. um, but you do think that it is a, a fake creature. Mm. Okay. Um, and it it um, says, "What brings you to this island?" Our boat, ship, my ship. Well, okay. boat. No. What brings you to this Technically, island? his. Uh, we came here through the Feywild. Why did you choose this island? We didn't choose this island. No we, one chooses this island. We had... Um, it seems to be a theme. We were you trying to escape island. something. We both chose it. We traveled through the Feywild until not, we decided to come back to the Material Plane, and this is the result. When did you come back? Um, it's difficult to to say as far as time goes. They don't keep track of time the way humans do, uh, or humanoids. Um, they traveled for a long time through the Feywild before returning to the Material Plane. What were you running from? A dragon. <coughs> what kind of dragon? Black, was it a red a dragon? Black dragon. Oh, a black dragon. Black, black one. Dragon. Mm -hmm. hmm. How big was it? Uh, fairly sizable. Would you say it was... Bigger than a ship? No. A huge black dragon? Or yeah. It? It, gives, it gives it dimensions. It says <laughs> it's probably about 70 feet long. Is that, oh, that's bigger than ours. That's the one that we fought. Big yep. dragon. No, it's actually about the same size oh. as the one we fought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember the... From, like, wing, from tip to tail? Yeah. yeah. We're hunting that dragon to, like, level... Level two. Yeah, minutes. we're trying sure? to make sails out of its wings. You know, you know Night Scale? Night Scale, that is its name. Was it? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, got, it uh, ran away from us once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. It killed a whole tribe of furbolds. Yeah, yeah. We yes. Know. We know. How do you know that? Well, we're we have friends a... with one of the furbolds. But it yeah. killed the whole tribe. Yeah. Except, except for one. Except for one. Survivor. What was the survivor's name? Ren. Frank. <laughs> Rinny the Pooh. <laughs> Frank the Furbolg. <laughs> well, I did not know a Frank the Furbolg. What about Rinny the Pooh? Uh, I've heard of a Wren. Yeah, it was Wren. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's back on our boat. Why does he not journey with you? Because he's like smarter than us. us. Someone Maybe had to get the, the ship ready for a hasty <laughs> departure. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what what brings you to the the Everglade? Well, someone wants to pay us a lot of gold to kill you. The Beholder. Okay. 
Make a perception check. Listen here, Natural tree. one. 21. 17. Thir only a 13, but that's because I'm casting message. I'm going, usually you don't tell the person you're trying to kill that you're going to kill him. <laughs> I, I, I cast We're message back. Uh, I'd rather really join really with them to 15. kill the, be the beholder, to be honest. Creatures up in the boughs of the trees going, <gasps> no, they're oh. moving in like, oh. they're going to try to kill us and we well, move just move to attack. I didn't say we were going to kill you. I said someone offered to pay us a lot of money to kill you. So, I'd rather kill the beholder. Yeah. Like, so, or the um, dinosaur robot. We're here to kill the dinosaur robot. Yeah, there's that too. We're here to kill the giant dinosaur robot. Thunderjaw. Thunderjaw. Um, okay. Also, can can you help us kill the beholder? There's a vast amount of treasure beneath we the beholder. We can't leave this forest. Let's get the treasure. Can, can we, we just throw it bigger? out? <laughs> We're working on that. Can we help with that? No. Oh. Are you sure? Are you any of your druids? No, the druids on the boat. Let me check. That's too bad. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 14 deception. Yeah, I'm Drew. <laughs> as much as I am. It, it offer, uh, the creature that you've seen kind of lowers there. itself yeah. below the boughs of the trees and says, Well, come on. Come with us. Fantastic. Let's go, guys. No, just you. The just druid. me? Just the druid. Good Sorry. luck. Wait, I thought druid you were my bard. So, no. why, why does a beholder want to kill you? Because we kill its creatures. Okay. Aren't we doing the same thing? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Wait, it controls the robots? Yeah. Why is it making us fight its own robots? Why is he trying to kill us? Because it's got the camera you'd have to watching. For it's fun. For you'd fun. Have, oh you'd have to gosh, watch it. I've been duped. Yes, it's manipulating all of us ever since we hey, landed on you this guys stupid don't island. Camera out there. I'm such a fool. Uh, yeah. You can kill that camera. All right. I think that's step number one. Okay. Kill the camera. Okay. Uh, a couple of arrows shoot out, and the camera gets destroyed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no! My followers! Yes. And you were only able to get. I'm not going to get any likes for that. 47 <laughs> selfies. Because I'm guessing we've had a few days. You probably took a few more. Just four more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you and uh, heroic pose. I mean, I had that heroic <coughs> yeah. shot, yeah. so. Yeah. And I had a great filter. He's gone up from, like, the single still to, like, a whole panoramic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With music. Mm -hmm. like. I'm just glad we skipped the part where you get one of those selfies. <laughs> I don't need a says selfie says the guy stick with, stick with the selfie stick. That flies around. around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, well, you think so. Yeah. Yeah. Says the, the man right with angle. the sword cane selfie stick. <laughs> so, there's one other question we probably should ask. Just one? Yeah, just one. If Your friend is, is that's missing the is it? What was he? Uh, is a Goliath yeah. named Wise. Yep. Have you seen a Goliath by chance? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> Never say that we didn't try. Zenos, yeah. He cares about other people. I believe yeah. I have druidic work to. Keep. Yeah, go go do your druidic work. <laughs> yeah, don't believe really? that. Really? Yeah, I'm a water druid. Did you not know that? I'm pretty sure that's not true. Do you think <laughs> I'm not? Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a thing? Let's see, uh, 14 <laughs> on my deception. I'm pretty sure it is true. I'm a water druid. Have you ever seen me summon sharks? No. I, I can su haven't seen you summon sharks. Oh, yeah? Sharks. I blew the horn of the mark <laughs> Oh, wait, I did. Yeah. Three sharks appear. <laughs> <laughs> Why would a druid do it? They appear, they appear uh, probably about like feet up. about not right next to us, but like out there in the distance there. All three of them like in a triangle shape. On top of Xenos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they flop around until they die. Water oh, druids. Oh, that's rough. You didn't know I was a water druid. That's... It's really insensitive. That's, that's a not weird. a very druidic thing yeah. to do, though. That's pretty kind of evil. Sure. They just return to the pocket dimension. Your octopus doesn't die. Well, no, that's... but I'm not a water druid. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so why are you trying to pretend like you know how water sharks? druids function? <laughs> do they disappear like a summon creature does? Oh, okay, right. Yeah, they just like, stay there and die. <laughs> Meanwhile, so I step slowly. into some bushes and disappear again. Slowly <laughs> suffocate them. In case they start. In case these. Uh, I'm going to make a good voices and start get out of here. Yeah. Do you know? I don't know. I guess what it is. You, do you know? <laughs> do you know how to kill Thunderjaw? Do you know what Thunderjaw is? Thunderjaw is like a big robot they, dinosaur. They haven't been outside of the. They can't leave for it. Yeah. That's fine. I don't know if Thunderjaw came over here. No. Well, I don't know where Thunderjaw is. Can you describe oh, yeah. what Thunderjaw looks like? It's. I describe what I saw in my vision dream. Okay. 
they, do, you, they, do you have any tunnels or uh, deep caves into the island? Uh, Deal with these mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not yeah, these mushrooms. Yeah, we'll, we'll oh, you share our mushrooms fast. with you. If you to. It's part of my druidic vision quest, you know? <laughs> Trying to get in tune with the new land. <laughs> Those are clearly poisonous. <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, this spot spell out poison on this. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, so I, didn't, I was looking at the upside down. Your question any tunnels. Yeah. Yes, just hold on. <laughs> That's him playing his druidic My pan, pan flute. flute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. calming nature. Um, so, I'm a so, druid. so where this forest appears, mm -hmm. it basically transforms the um, the area around it in, back into part of the Feywild. So um, any tunnels that would be deep enough that the roots would go to, which these are evergreen, so they go fairly deep, mm -hmm. um, would be transformed back into... Well, so it would, not, I guess it would transform the area. What what I was thinking is we came across the one metal door that there was no way to open, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if there might be other doorways or entrances into the ship that might be around here that they might know about that may not have survived the transformation. Um, not the there, Feywild. not in their area. No. Okay, so they can't do anything to help us fight the Beholder, and all they like, want to do is kidnap our bard. Not currently. And, okay. I'm not what? being kidding. I'm just going on a dreaded quest. There's nothing we can do to help them get to a position that can help us fight the beholder. Well, I mean, if your bard, if your uh, druid comes with them, you could definitely he could help them with the ritual to expand the forest. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. So All right. I start walking around, just yeah. looking around. What if I just call I mean, on Umberly and see if she wants to like? So what are these creatures? Smash uh, they're the called Wilden. Um, they're basically a fey type creature that is similar to an elf, but more wild. Um, so I, I wait until I'm out of earshot of them. I'm like, uh -huh. can one of you come down here for a second? <laughs> one comes down. Okay, so that guy's totally lying to you. So we'll just mess with him and make him what? do some weird stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. And like get him to do some craziest things and keep him just All right. just keep yeah. him on the hook for his life. Make him think that you believe that he's really a druid. Okay, sure. I'm a druid. <laughs> so they, um, I like this plan. <laughs> <laughs> so um, do you go with them? Yeah. Okay. Go on so the what are we doing? Are we just waiting? Are we? Uh, yeah, I, I got a spell book to, to study. We gotta go. Guess. So I'll wait until he gets long, back. Don't, long, don't you think rest. the robot killers might like be it's a nice safer ally here? here. Yeah, yeah. and it would be uh -huh. on the other side of that yeah. edge of the forest. So yeah. let's take a long rest, so that we can go kill Thunderjaw. Oh, yeah, I want to. I want to see what they make of Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> while we're resting. just, just so you guys are aware, because uh, you'll find out this eventually when you take your long rest in the Feywild, um, three days go by, um, and you go on the best ayahuasca trip you've ever been on. <laughs> Sweet. By the way, uh, just in case anyone's keeping track, I took two mushrooms. Um. <laughs> and um, when you get out of it, you have one level of fatigue when you nice. return to the group. <laughs> and I believe yeah. that's disadvantage on, disadvantage on something. Um, I don't know that that shows up on there. Mike, can you look up fatigue? Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do? Travel to the Thunderjaw area? Yeah, yeah. let's go to Thunderjaw. Okay. Uh, I have a wreath of flowers now. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Did you Surrounded, expand the forest for him? I think so. <laughs> so, either what I did was I expanded the forest, uh -huh. or those elves are freaky. <laughs> Or so those elves were just <laughs> messing with me. <laughs> so exhaustion is what he has. Yeah. Okay, so level one. Disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. That's yeah, where there's six stages. Yeah. Six okay. is death. Six stages? That's of exhaustion. That's super worth the wild If any exhausted trip creature the suffers another uh, effect that causes exhaustion, its current level of exhaustion increases by the amount specified in the effect. Hey, can you make a wisdom saving throw for me? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 20. Uh, you remember how to make ayahuasca as you were kind of observing what was going on there um so you That's just going in the book uh, a number of chemical uh, mm -hmm. a number of different 
ingredients are um, so now you're a naturopathic healer too <laughs> I um, told you I'm a water druid <laughs> does anybody have proficiency with an alchemist kit no. I do not no, no. alright cool yeah. um, so traveling through the forest mm -hmm. um, you come to a uh, a ridge line and um, you kind of have to shimmy through um, a section uh, before you get to um, kind of an interior, um, what are these called? Um, chasm into, oh, okay. in, in, in this cliff face. Um, it's sharp, um, sharp uh, cliff face coming down into this uh, kind of uh, s uh, small chasm here, and on the other side of it is a cave with a kind of a glow, red glow, and some mm. smoke coming out of it. Oh, that's a, that's, that was the that's signal. You. That's the nature cue. magic. No, hold on, I'm still focusing on this nature Come on. magic. Come on, Druid. <laughs> I'm just, if you could just let me hold on just a second here, I got this. Nature so magic. You don't have a shot. Oh, it's on the other side? Hmm? You don't have a shot of I that. I don't. Uh, well, I do. There's one. I think it's scene three. Do we need to move this to that? To point yeah, that way? probably so. Hold on, guys. Oh. I think it's working. Hold I on. Hear it. Yep. Oh, Definitely feeling some nature Mike, magic. How's that? You might want to move the trees out of the way a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to move those. Can't see the forest for the That's trees. That's true. Right? So, um. Is that okay, Mike? Okay. You guys can make perception checks. Um, <clears throat> Eric, I'm not going to have Foxfire make a uh, perception check because you just notice it right away. There is a body of a Goliath. Oh, no. Here. Johnny's dead. Well, we got a 19 in there. And a creature roars and comes uh, ambling out of the cave. So you want to put that at the, the cave face. And then you guys, are you, are you that close? <laughs> I would, You're pretty close. Probably not. I'm at the trees. But You're at the tree line. I'm with Xenos, my friend Xenos. Yeah, yeah. So this creature, behind. we're friends now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm behind him because wait, wait. I'm communicating. What? what? I mean, I'm in, even if I'm in the tree line, if I just stand still, Cirque they told me. doesn't seem to. You know, actually, I feel like maybe we're not like that, nice. though. Like, maybe we're a little. We're not bunched okay. up in maybe a nice I'm little pump. Maybe like between that. Between the tree and yeah. the building, actually. Yeah, hey, uh, you should use that control rod. Initiative. Oh yeah, we've got three charges on it, right? Woohoo! That recharges um, every day. Every day. It, it's got I, it I just recharged so six, high so it's full. Eighteen. Twenty-one. Do you want me to use it? I use it. No. So you got a twenty-one? Yep. You're gonna use it. Twenty. Is that the highest? All right. Uh, Cirque, what are you doing? Um. Well. Cirque, do what Cirque does. Uh, I can't make it to it on this round, which is a problem. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll come to us. Yeah. Well, what if you hold your, <laughs> what if you hold your turn and I'll bless <sighs> you? What does bless do? Well, I can I move up. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna rage an and move forward. A, okay. Or, or no, and then if it gets next to me, I'm gonna punch it. Okay. D4 and attack rolls and You're gonna ready an action to punch it. Yep. yep. It so gets adjacent. Move up, move up 15 feet. So do you want it? Sure. Uh oh. If no one else can benefit from it, Moha. I can. You know what? Oh, it's okay. You can do three. He might benefit from more than me. Okay. So, me, so uh, yes, our attack rolls. Hmm? Are you going to make attack rolls? I, I might. I'm just saying, you convinced. three actually <laughs> always use attack rolls. This is where you kind of sometimes okay. use just So, I will, I will call upon him by. to bless you. <laughs> He's all alone fighting me and the So, what so. this looks like is a giant um, mechanical creature, bigger than you, anything you've seen. Um, and Even in my dreams. Well, no. It looks exactly, it look like, exactly it. like it. Yeah. Plus it has, plus on its on haunches, it has on attack rolls and these, these large boxes that um, you can't really tell what they would do. And then it has these ribbons oh, that gosh. come down to its... Uh, large boxes with, like, circles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then it has these ribbons that come and connect to its jawline. Um, and it looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex because it's uh, it's got major hind legs and a, a large head. Uh, on the long neck. But more like the Michael Bay Grimlock, or? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so what's Sarsarel doing? I bless. 
Okay. I bless myself so and move, or? and uh, the rogue. What's the rogue's name? Foxfire. Foxfire. Sorry. Sorry. Are you gonna oh. move right now? Uh, yeah, I think so. After I bless it, bless those of us, I'll move up and to the right a little bit, so towards towards you, Aaron. How many squares? Uh, I'll move up four and one over. Or like one, two, here? three, and, and yeah, one over. Yeah, I'm using the like this? axe yeah. instead of... Kind of don't want to be like... <laughs> in a direct line. It's the one thing that it's right. looking at. Yeah. So, on its turn, it, it charges forward. How far um, can it move? It can move... 450. Feet. Oh, 50 feet. So, it moves forward, and it moves through um, Cirque's square. So, so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It can move basically like ten, runs you. 10 feet past me, and that's yeah. it. Um, and you can make that's your, here, um, your no, attack it's, roll. It's behind me. It's, it's still adjacent to me. Okay, cool. Like there. It's got a big base, so I can't count there. Yeah. Huh. That's, that's fun. Yeah. So it's all about 12, the base. 13. No trouble. Does a 20 hit it? A 20 does hit it. All right, 13 damage. All right. You do 13 damage, and it overruns you, and you need to make a strength save. 1d4. I believe I get advantage on this, because I'm raging. Same exact number. What'd you get? Uh, 22. So you're not knocked down, but you do take six damage as it claws its way past you. Three damage. Xenos. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so I'm going to um, wave the control rod thingy <laughs> yeah. at it. The malfunctioning control rod. You get the chart up? He's trying to control it. No, I don't have the chart up. I oh. think you got the chart. Okay, I got the chart. It looks like a 26. 26. So I hit it with a 26. Explosion. Lightning bolt, <clears throat> which would hit you and Cirque. <laughs> no, this, you have this, to look it up. This gets better than that. Oh, good. Did I disintegrate myself? <laughs> no, you do not. That's, Excellent. You don't actually, it's only a paralyzed at like 98 to 99. Does it, okay, have, good. Uh, does it have to make a saving throw? I'm looking it's up the DC spell. DC 15 if it does. What is the spell? Stinking Cloud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it smells. Uh, concentration for up to a minute. You create a 20 foot radius sphere of yellow nauseating gas and okay. on a point within range. 20 so foot. And it's okay. poison it's, effect, right? It's constitution save. Um, I'm trying to see if it's creatures that don't need to breathe or are immune to poison okay. automatically succeed on the save. Yeah, which it doesn't breathe. So. And ah. I don't. I don't need to breathe either. Okay, so I just help because <laughs> of my necklace. Yeah. So. All right. So Thanks. from there, uh-huh. five, but that's only going to last 15, our way out. On no. a failed yeah, save, he five, 10, 15, on 15, 20. Yeah. On, on the failed save, the creature spends its action, turning and retching. Yeah. yeah. Five, 10, 15. So, Jonathan, is Xenos doing anything else? As my bonus action, I was going to use Misty Step to move 30 feet away. Sure. So, zoop. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Into the bushes for me. Okay. Um, and um, that spell. Zago. So, as my bonus action, before I forget, I'm giving you inspiration. Oh, all right. So, I get a d6 on top of my d4. Yep. <laughs> And then I'm going to uh, move back. Bravely run away, away. And uh, just to clarify something, this is a giant metal dinosaur, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, so I cast heat metal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that do? Uh, if anything that's in contact with the metal, like say if it was part of its body, uh, <laughs> takes 2d8 fire damage. Okay. Uh, which I can activate as a bonus action, okay. and it lasts for a minute. And you use your bonus action to give him... To spark it. So I can spark it. It's, right. it's heated up for a minute, and then I could spark it to do 2d8. Okay. So Mr. it August. takes... Seven, seven fire damage. Seven fire damage, okay. Mike. And it is now Mr. glowing red hot. The goes, Hulk smash, puny lizard. Sirk <laughs> <laughs> smash, puny lizard. Okay. So you do that. Yep. Um, I can't grapple this. It is, I can't it's jump, turn. But yeah, I mean, you can. It's super heated, don't. 
I yeah. wouldn't recommend it. No, I wouldn't do that. Don't touch did, the hot dinosaur. Yeah, I did say I am using an axe now instead of punching it. This is the thought process I had before I did this, yes. <laughs> uh, Mike, you're going to get hit with a tail. Attack. No, yes. What? Uh, that is a 26 for his UAC. Uh, I think yeah. that's going to hit. Um, that, that hits just fine. The good thing for you is he, he can't bite you since he hit you with his tail. Um, Bad thing for you, though, is he can't hit you. <laughs> um, nine damage. Okay. Bludging. And then, yeah, he's going to swing around and bite at Sars, uh, at fire, uh, Foxfire. Rawr. And, ooh, I'm rolling well. Um, That's, you always want to hear also the a twenty six for you. Yeah, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But just remember, it's easier to hit from the inside. <laughs> yeah. True. So Good it point. comes down and it just swings its head into you because it doesn't have a, a jaw. <laughs> it doesn't have teeth. Um, and that is going to be eleven damage. Eleven. Okay. Um, and then now it's your turn. So, cool. Um, you fought enough of these creatures to know that they do have vital areas that you can hit um, to knock vital components off. Um, and you haven't fought one of these things yet, but you know for a fact that this thing has some vital areas. So the way mechanically that will work is um, you can um, make an attack roll with disadvantage to strike at a a vital spot. Okay. Then that's what we're going to try. Okay. I still roll my d4 with that too, right? Yeah. With the bless. Yeah. So, oh. You add that to either oh. one. Natural one. I shouldn't even one. roll okay. the Luckily rest of it. That, uh, yeah. that's not going to get any worse. Yeah. 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 There's that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you swing and it, it misses. Mm-hmm. Um, but actually, it, you do make contact with it and it just... Clang! Hits a metal, um, like a, plate. <laughs> a metal plate and just scrapes off. Do you want to do anything else? Now you can disengage. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. You are inside the stinking cloud. You're also, so you might you're also inside the stinking cloud. Oh, yep. Because that's so, how Doug plays with you. Got it. Because it's all. Hey, little I things. used <laughs> this. Would it be spell. any different if you had access to the spell stinking cloud? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have used that on a robot. Okay. Yeah, probably. So, <laughs> fair yep. enough. Seems, seems valid. Okay, so there. you move out of it. Enough to get out of the cloud. Um, and then... Okay. Um, shipwreck. All right. Does... A 19 hit its AC. 19 hits its AC. Okay. 10 damage. All right. Same slashing if it matters. It doesn't matter. Didn't make Um, sir, sure. Does an 18 hit it? 18 hits it. Oh, good. No, this is big. This is a big creature. Well, that's that's fine. Easy to hit. It has a lot of hit points. So, <laughs> a bolt of lightning arcs from my fingers and starts a glow on it okay. that makes it easier to hit. You hit no fairy fire? A guiding bolt. A guiding <laughs> bolt hits it? What does this Her, do, Howard? Oh. 17. I don't know, we haven't seen it actually hit now. For 20 damage. 20 oh. damage? Yeah. Oh. Oh. And okay. the next go. attack has advantage against it. So Xenos, if he makes an attack, has advantage. Anybody who makes an attack. Well, it's going to be the next one. The next you're, attack, yeah. He's your, your ally. Well, if he, if he makes an attack, I'm not making an attack. It, he'll get it. I know. Damage. That's what I'm saying. He's going to move 50 feet towards Xenos. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to hit it. Yep. So you have advantage on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that 50 feet? He's going to continue to move over the <laughs> Okay. He's going to run him over. Yeah, he's going to run him over. Uh-oh. So a natural one is going to get re-rolled. Oh, that's going to hit. So, yeah, 20-something. Is he going off the board? No. Yeah, he'll stop at the end. 15. Yeah. He'll be adjacent to Xenos. Okay. 15? 15 damage. Uh, All right. 40, 45. Yeah, okay. I can't see it. Uh, so, Doug, you need to make a strength saving throw. And okay, you take six damage. Okay. What'd you get? I got a nineteen. Okay, you don't get knocked down. Hey, look so at you. So I take my my magical ward absorbs six damage. Nice. 
Your magical word, you mean your octopus? No. <laughs> oh, I can still get to it. Get him, Lenny! Um, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Throws the octopus. Oh, let's see out. here. Um, <laughs> you going to use the control rod? No. <laughs> Why I'm, you have to do like this. I'm going to disappear in another uh, burst of silvery mist. Okay. Oh, good. Hopefully on the other side of one of your allies. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Well, how many times can he do that? Six. Probably yeah. every round. Oh, every round he can oh. do that? Oh, <laughs> not on his See, initiative. I rolled for you, Doug. It would have cast Fireball. Oh. That was a bonus action. I could still cast Fireball on the darn thing. That's do true. It. You could. I was casting it from the control rod. I don't See, think I, you I was, I was going to put Grease under it. There you go. Well, no, uh, Grease it is on a large fire. enough square. And it's 15, uh, Grease, 15 Grease feet is, wide. Okay, so yeah. it would be in there. And then it's on fire. Well, it, is it on wouldn't fire. if I... Oh, it is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, heat metal after. As okay. soon as I snap my fingers next turn, it's on fire. Is heat metal a con oh. uh, concentration? I believe so. Okay, I just okay. want to... It yeah. doesn't matter right um, now. Well, yeah, it may matter in the I future. Think I think I'll agree. Yeah. Especially from where Doug teleported to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't teleporting into the sinking cloud. Well, sure. No, that makes sense. That's fine. I mean, I think, the other option would have been... exactly Doug, what we had thought you would it's do. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no. It, oh, yes, 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 it is. Here's it is. Okay. The way the spell cards do it, are we? It's got a little marker. Instead of just saying, okay. I'm going to move that back a little bit. All right, so uh, if all we got to do is train 15, it to 20, the zone, 25, guys. 30. See, if I, if I te teleport it's here, really it's just cool. going to keep going after me. Yeah. Now it's got to go, after, go through you first. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. I can't see me. I'm hiding around the corner. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's super quiet. Yeah, I, I like where you're standing. I'm going to grease it. So it needs to make a save. Okay. Yeah, Are you greasing the ground or the creature itself? It's under the ground. The ground. I, I, I don't think I can grease the creature itself. Okay. Uh, it does not make it safe. Okay. Hooray! <laughs> Take so, that. So <laughs> grease covers the ground in a 10 tricky. foot square centered on a point within origin. So, so yep. you grease one of its feet. Yeah. <laughs> it's what, what, I would think it would have an advantage on that save. Since oh, you it, think so? Because right. it's only oh, half the yeah. mix. <laughs> Stand up back up. <laughs> Doug, there's a surprise pop quiz tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Zago? All right. Do you want to stay right where it's you at? Should. You should. You should stay right in line no, with I'm using Doug my is. bonus okay. action first to spark. Sure. So it's going to take... Oh, yeah, that's max damage. Yeah, seven damage. All right. And then... So now it's on fire? Yep. Okay. So now the grease is on so fire. Burst on fire. And then... Six for me, Doug. Four. All right, it takes four more damage. As nice. my standard action, it can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, it's good at wisdom saving throws. I would hope it is. is. How about 17? 17 makes it. Yeah. Yeah. I rolled a 16. That's good. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay. It does have an int of two, though. There so you go. If you have intelligence saving throws. Yeah. Okay. It's going to fail him a lot. <laughs> and then I'm going to use Only my movement. Saving throw spells. What was the effect of the stinking cloud again? If you're uh, in it, you're in if it. you make it. you vomit, <laughs> but you it's gone fog cloud now. otherwise. Isn't it gone now? No, you, yeah, you didn't concentrate on it, so it's gone. So it's, yeah, it's gone. Dissipated. Okay, cool. Good. That opens up the board a little bit, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, but Doug doesn't want the board to be open. He wants it to be super closed. The board is shut. It was made by those who are short. <laughs> and the short keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that movie yesterday, too. Oh, nice. <laughs> it was on TV, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to watch it. How uh, come you're over there? How come you're not between <laughs> it and the wizard? Weird. Because hmm. I get to do 2D. Okay, so that is the end of Zago's turn. Yep. It's going to move out of the green <coughs> over to around that tree. Mm -hmm. And you go by its Uh No, it's going to move up. Close to um, the Zago, and then it's going to do its uh, lightning roar. Oh! Uh -oh. So okay. everybody within a thirty-foot cone, which I think is going to hit the three of you, needs to make a reflex or a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I get advantage since Jeez. I can see it. Mm. <laughs> oh so man, that's that's my good 19. one. Nineteen. Okay. I don't even need to make Nineteen. It. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I totally make it. 
Did you get above the 15? I did. I got a 16. Okay. So everybody takes half damage, which is uh, 10, 20, uh, 2, so 11 damage. 11 damage, okay. Right. Lightning Sweet. damage, if it matters. Um, and basically what happens is the component, the belt that feeds into its mouth area, yeah. it just, uh, the, the belt like lights up with lightning fed from the boxes in the back and it just shoots lightning out of the front of the thing. Um, can we target that spot? Uh, well, one of you knows that you can target that spot. Oh, okay. Um, but if you want to make an insight check, you can. Okay. Um, Foxfire. Woohoo! That's, that's me. That's a 19 insight. That's it? <clears throat> no, you said that's me. Okay. That's me. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you was like, I rolled crappy. That's the end of my turn. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, step around the corner. We're going to go for that disadvantage thing again. Okay. Short bow. Uh, well, if you oh, hide art. before you make your shot, you hide. can cancel out the disadvantage. Great. Mm -hmm. Then I'm and, hiding. Yeah, right. And then yep. you can make your attack. So I With the before stuff. Yeah. Yep. Woohoo. So that plus the, that is a 18. You hit. Cool. Why are you getting uh, you get disadvantage? Sneak and I get my sneak attack. Because he's aiming for a aiming vital component. For a vital spot. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that is that plus that is seven, nine, fifteen damage. So the box on its right hip, um, I realize I'm using my left hand, but uh, it showers with sparks and um, falls to the ground. On oh, camera, it's your the right side. Exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stay right. Um, so That's you right. did how much damage? Fifteen right. total damage. And it takes fifteen damage. It's another arrow. Um, okay. So, shipwreck. All right, move me up to its face. <laughs> up to its face. Aha, we meet again. So that's a uh, 20, 30 to hit it. That hits. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. That time it <laughs> I went around the horn. <laughs> so close. Uh, so that's uh, 17 damage. Okay. Um, all right, sir, sir. So it needs to make a con save with disadvantage. Okay. DC 14. So the first one was fairly good. And the second one does not make it. Okay. So it is going to shatter. To shatter. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to shatter behind it do do? for 24 damage. Okay. Jeez. So it's max damage again. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So it's its turn. And it's going to charge past. It goes here and mm -hmm. here. Okay. It's going to charge past the two of you. Okay. So you guys need to make... So it's going... Attack this, this way? This actually doesn't provoke attack of opportunity. He's only walking through me? So um, I will read to you. Oh, okay. Uh, on initiative 10, Thunderjaw can move up to its speed in a straight line as a free action, moving through enemy spaces. Um, each time it moves through an enemy space... Uh, I thought it didn't... Yeah, you can go ahead and do your attack. Okay. So you take uh, mm. five damage. I rolled a natural one, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I'm using one of my left to reroll. Okay. Oh, you're lucky. That's you're right. damn right I am. Uh, so that would be a uh, 21 to hit instead of the hits? one I rolled before. You guys both got natural ones? Yeah. Um, and I roll a natural 20 on my save. And then I need to check <laughs> something. 3d12 really damage to uh, on So a you're craze. hitting this thing with your uh, sword cane, right? Yes. Okay. And I just want to check that I can't, I can in fact do this. So I'm spending one of my uh, bard inspirations. Okay. And it's becoming a psychic labor pack. Okay. So that is going to be, I've got the three of those. So that is a whole lot of dice. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 damage. Psychic. How do you want to do this? <laughs> so it comes charging towards. Uh huh. And he goes up and he does the thing where he unseats the cane as he undoes He whispers to it so it flickers with the green flame. Uh huh. And then it, I imagine it does like a roaring charge. Yeah. And so as it comes in through, he just steps forward with it. And so the bottom jaw, he's at the bottom, and he hits. I'm um, imagining there's like kind of a latch thing there, and he hits it, and the butt dinosaur crumples behind him. And he's there of the jaw. Nice. And then nice. he puts the sword cane away. And he goes, it's just like that. Falls to the ground. Yeah, behind him. You've destroyed 
Thunderjaw. Yeah, hundred percent. So I'm gonna go investigate. I'm gonna climb up on top of it. Okay. Um, it looks like um, you know, it's got scale, oh. scaling metal plates. I don't think I can pull. There was one. <laughs> there was one other thing that happened because when it fell behind him, he's not looking away. Uh-huh. He snaps his fingers and explodes into flames. <laughs> 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 nice. That's awesome. Okay, I'm not climbing on it now. Okay, it's very <laughs> very Wait awesome. a little bit, then you can climb on it and I'll cut the so, concentration. Um, what do you guys want to do? Make sure it's loot this Control thing. flame. Okay. Oh, I'd, I'd stop. So the, the fire is on, on him is now waving <laughs> so in our flag. And there's this yeah, oh, yeah, right? Our solid. ship yeah, is right. sailing across the so ocean. Yeah, you know, I'm just doing kind of fun. Jackass. Zaga's doing like a uh, DX job. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm going to go over around there. Okay. Uh, you yeah. find several um, Darkowitz? human <laughs> annoyed creatures that have been drugged back in into that cave. Okay. Are they alive? No. Oh, okay. No. They're in much, uh, lots of states of decay. Okay. Um, why don't you make a nature check for me? Uh, natural 21? Uh, <laughs> you think that uh, the oldest is probably about five years old, and then they kind of decrease in age from there of how decayed they are. Okay. Um, They've been in here for quite a while. Make an investigation check. Okay. With advantage, because you okay, know what you're looking okay. for. I look to see if they've all been winners of the Rattle Bolt Cup. <laughs> awesome. It's a tradition. I believe someone asked why they don't, why no one knows what's here. So yeah. that's at 15. Because okay. anybody that's So you climb up to the, the back of the creature on its neck right before its head. So then, okay. And there Nobody's is ever a half-sized... Um, the metal story bar is a like treasure you saw okay. in your dream, mm-hmm. and you can pull it out. free. Okay. And when you do, when you come here, it points out mass. into Apparently three sizes. Like, <laughs> like a trident? Like he doesn't trident. like it when you wink at him. Yes. And it's got um, an activation area on it. Like if you give it a little twist, okay. lightning shoots out of the three, um, three points nice. into a lightning trident. See, this is totally worth it. Treasure! So that's going into the kitty, right? Yep. Yeah. No, 10% of this goes to... Really Your so new deity, the thing that saved you three times? So we went all along <laughs> tonight, folks. Um, we are still working out what our schedule is going to be like as we get through Memorial Day weekend. We were going to discuss that but uh, beforehand, but not everybody made it here in great time. Uh, so we're going to discuss <laughs> that tonight. Just in um, we will probably have a show up for you on uh, Memorial Day. It will likely be a recorded show uh, because I think no one really has the availability in the evening. Um, and then the following week, uh, we are going to be on hiatus uh, because I will be in LA for uh, Stream of Many Eyes. So um, I'll, I'll be recording some stuff while I'm there and uh, hopefully everybody enjoys it. So thank you for tuning into our show, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.